What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another modern video here. We're gonna play uh, Black White of some sort. We're not we're not finalized on this list yet, but um, <clears throat> this is our starting point, and we're going to um, also no field over when we have Tectonic Edge. There's a there's a a team tournament that I'm gonna be playing the modern portion of with Rob and uh, our friend Turner, and um, this is a deck I'm leaning towards because it's always a deck I've had good result with results with. I'm not sure if it's still <clears throat> uh, current current if it's still in good shape. But I definitely do think you want Damping Sphere. I agree with that. Is it better than Stony Silence? It does different things. It's fundamental. It's, it 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 uh, hits two different correct types. But yeah, but so does so does Damping Sphere. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh, but so does this. I mean, this this is like Affinity and it hits Tron. <clears throat> I don't think you have to worry about Affinity. That's my point, which is why I think Damping Sphere is better than Stony Silence. But that right hits now. KCI. Doesn't da da doesn't Damping Sphere? Yeah, that does. Yeah, that's relevant. So. That's relevant. Yeah. What, what problem is? Yeah, I kind of like it over. Yeah, I like it damp sphere. Yeah. One damp sphere. What a big big Soren is one of my favorite cards. So I, actually, it's one of the reasons I like playing in this archetype because you get to play that. I also like Obnixilus as well. Let me see if I can find. Ob, him Ob should be in the. Well, maybe not because it's five, but Ob is so good. I don't actually think we need six discard spells. I always like a 3-2 split of uh, Fosses to, to Inquisition, to be honest. I really don't like Path when we have three Fatal Push as well. Like, I don't want to have four Path and three Fatal Push. That's I don't, really I don't excessive. like two Path to Exile just seems wrong, whether that's too much or too little. I don't think two is where you want to be. Hmm. Here's a recent list from November. Two Ob, two Gideon Jura, three Gideon, three Gideon. So three of this Gideon, two of this Gideon, also two Ob Nixilis. Robert Nixilis. <laughs> Accountant from accounting. Oh my god, this has five wraths. This has three wraths. Oh, this one does? Yeah. That's a lot. Oh, it doesn't have Night's Whisper. No, it doesn't. It does got four Night's Whisper. Well. What's extra in the deck? Oh, uh, the, first off, Liliana can go. That card does not synergize at all. No, no, one? Last Hope. Really? Yeah, that's what that does, doesn't synergize at all. What does this one do? I don't think this one's great at all. We well, just discard I mean, Lingering Souls. Yeah, but? exactly. We're, well, we're playing Tap Out. I mean, we're playing our threat, and then we're pa we're passing. I'm actually not a huge fan of this Gideon. Is it good? 100% when you can lead with Path to Exile or Freight of Push. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just great. just runs away. I would take all these. I don't like the Lilianas at all. I could care less about Liliana. Oh, boy. I think there's better cards in the main deck. Like, I think this is a card that I like in the sideboard, but I don't think it does much in the main deck. It's taking up too many card slots, though, at that point. What is? The Fulminator Mage. If you're putting the fourth one in the sideboard, I'm, I'm not. saying. Three is good. Plus, we also have Damping Sphere. Like, we have a lot of Tron things here. That's true. We put Damping Sphere. I agree. Uh, we have two two paths and four fatal push in this list, three inquisition and four thoughtseize. Wow, they're going with seven too. This is actually six. I think that's fine. I, no, I actually I said five. I think five. I think six is too much. I think six is good because this is what you want the deck to do. You want to hit these. <clears throat> Mana base. Look, four concealed courtyard. I think is actually fine. Yeah. Fetid heath. I don't think we care. About I don't like. Heath. I don't care for fetid heath. There's one in here. Shambling Vents, four, four planes, three swamps. They're also only on 24 lands. That's interesting. Four tech edges. Those can come out. How many marsh flats? No marsh flats. How do you act how do they activate their their fatal pushes? Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Also, we have four field of runes for Tron. Like, why would you want why do you need Field of Rune is much better against Tron than Tectonic Edge because So then if that's the case, let's get rid of some of the some of the Fulminator Mages. Go down to two Fulminator Mages. All right. I for now. That. <clears throat> I, do, I don't mind another Anguish Unmaking because the card's super flexible. Like, one, and you're not really... Dr oh, that's true. We have a Disenchant, which I like a lot. All right, let's leave it. Let's leave it. Do we like... I mean, I wish Vindicate was in, in Modern. Like, that'd be great. It will be. Vindicate? Oh, no, that's the Mor You're thinking Mortify, one. Mortify, Mortify yeah. Vindicate is not the Instant Speed one, definitely. Um... Okay, so the lands this deck has, the one we're looking at in the off-screen, is four and four. It does have one Fetid Heath. It does have four Shambling Vents. Two Shrine. Uh, only two Shrine. That's yep, interesting. because it has two Isolated Chapel. But we don't want Chapels <clears throat> because we have Fetch Lands. It does have four Plains and uh, three Swamps. So we have four Marsh Flats and a Goblet Shrine. Instead, they have two more is two Isolated Chapels and, and another Plains. So that was yeah. They have one. They have two fewer lands. Interesting. I don't think I care about the fetid heath. I don't either. 
I, I don't like, know. I would just oh. rather be like one of these. Like, Fetid Heath, and the opening your. When you already have four Field of Ruins, if you have to open on a Fetid Heath, it's just really bad. And you will open it on. Open on it. Yeah, Field does activate push. Yeah. Yeah, I like Marsh. You mean Marsh Flats. Oh, Field does? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But, like. No, someone said that in chat. That's why I. I, I could see cutting a Marsh Flats. Really? It's a two color deck. Like, I mean, where are we getting? Sure. The thinning is not super relevant. I just like it because it activates push, but maybe, like, the life is actually worse. I mean, you got Night's Whisper, Thoughtseize. How many creatures are you really face, fatal, fatal, fatal pushing in the deck? And Well, the, Modern is basically if the deck has creatures you can Fatal Push, then you're going to want three Fatal Push. No, well, my point is my point is how many creatures are you going to want to Revolt Fatal Push? Mm, that's relevant. Like how many three? It, how, but how, how? How how relevant is it? I think it's extremely relevant. I don't. I don't okay, but give me justification. Uh, no, no, no. I'm <laughs> agreeing with you. I'm saying I don't think there's that many four drops and three oh. drops we're going to be hitting if you think oh, about okay. it, because all the creatures that are higher power that's levels are one or two drops. And we have and we have most of them, obviously. Wrath of God and Damnation to deal with those as yes, well. Yes. Yeah. What if we? I kind of like a Graph Digger's Cage in the sideboard. Really? Yeah, because of it hits collect company decks. But we have no way to search for these one ofs. Is my problem. I think twenty five lands is probably where you want to be with this deck. I don't think twenty. I don't think twenty four. Twenty six might be too much, and twenty four is probably too low. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna try to cut these and see what. See if that works. We can add one more. Four more planes. Um, they have two isolated chapel, which actually is very good. <clears throat> In a two color deck, it's basically always gonna come into play untapped. This is twenty four, and we get one more. We have a godless shrine. What do they? What do we have? Three swamp, four shambling, one four planes. Do we only have? We got three, two goblin shrines. One. Oh, we took the. Do we take the fetid heath out? Yeah. Okay. So we actually replaced the fetid heath with another. I still don't like the fetid heath. shrine. Oh, we did. It's gone. Okay. Good. So the thing is, like, we have <clears throat> four planes, three swamps. I kind of just want more goblin shrines. I think four goblin shrines is fine. That's a lot if you just draw into them, though. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because we're we're playing. I'll just play a third isolated chapel. I think that's actually fine. No, I'm fine with chapel. All right, that's 25 lands. We get three extra cards. Uh, their their version has, like, one more Fatal Push. Uh, it has two more... Another Wrath of God. And one, and one, one more, more Day of Judgment. And they have one more of this guy. And I think that's probably the only differences. Like, these they would be these four are the difference. And also, they have one fewer lands. But I don't think you really need... Four five wrath effects for and sure. the night whisper too that you don't have over there i added it no i know but you're you're i'm just saying you were moving them to the side oh this is these are cards that aren't in the deck though like these are the cards i haven't agreed on yet they oh, I, sure. I think a fourth night whisper is fine but at this point we're only cutting one from our li from what we have there well this is that's why i don't like any of these though like i don't think we need a fourth fatal push i agree i 100 percent don't think we need a fourth fatal push uh i don't think we need five wrath effects <laughs> no I think way three is a good amount especially in modern yeah it can be dead a lot of times I don't think we did the fourth off season. So we get like three slots. <clears throat> I almost like Isolated Chapel better than Courtyard. I might just rather have a fourth Isolated Chapel than if a fourth If we don't courtyard. run Signets, that's actually kind of interesting. Or I mean, if we don't run Stony Silence, a Signet's actually kind of interesting. We don't have a lot of two drops. So if you go, like, maybe this is a deck you want to be on the draw. And you go... Oh, I don't ever want to be on the draw. No? Ooh. Could Treasure might be better than... No, probably not Modern. No, you're going to want to tap out every single turn. Like, you're not going to have an extra mana to be like, Lingering Souls and activate my... Are we running four vents? Yes, 100% four vents. Yeah, we would never go down three vents. Uh, we already have one Angus running in the sideboard. We don't, I don't think you need it in the main deck in, in no. Modern. But, like, we're not going to be playing four Signets. Mm -hmm. So, like, what do we play? Like, two or three Signets? And it's just, like, it's just a three. bad top deck. Yeah, I agree with that, too. <clears throat> Nah, I don't like Liliana. I don't think she does anything in this deck. Like, making them sack a guy is just, eh. It's not a Bitter Blossom deck. We just have no reason to play Bitter Blossom here. Shut up and take my money. Hey, Frank, here are good people and I watch YouTube videos religiously, despite almost never watching live. Happy Hello, cousin. Thank you so much for the for the sub and for the donation. Really appreciate it, buddy. That's Thank you for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Sorry. No, go ahead. That's a relevant point. We have 12 lands that don't activate Chapel, and we don't have ways to search for them. I mean, on the same hand, like, you have infinite turns that don't activate Courtyard, right? So, like, 
You could also play Chapel on turn. Eh, you don't want to play it on tap on turn one. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Concealed Courtyard or Godless or, or Isolated Chapel because they are going to come into play tapped or untapped at different points in the game. Tide Hollow Scholar just turns on their removal. That's not what we're trying to do. Yeah, like you don't want any creatures in the deck that aren't like Lingering Souls because then they just get free hits. I do like Soren Grim Nemesis though. <clears throat> That's expensive. We have 25 lands in a modern deck. I mean, run two signets then. Is there anything better? Is Mindstone better? Yeah. We don't have any color requirements. Like, I'd rather just have a Mindstone that can draw us a card later in the game. That doesn't seem that bad. Because, I mean, like, what are the odds, like, we don't have t double white on, on turn three, you know? Big Elspeth is also very good. That's interesting. I haven't seen Elspeth in in modern. Let's just try it like this and see how it goes. What are we, what are we doing with the sideboard? I don't like. I don't care about collective brutality, to be honest, or engineer explosives. Till you get hit. Till you run into storm. Well, we already have damping sphere. Yeah, we have a lot of discard and damping sphere. Yeah. Like, okay. Hold on. Let's cut the brutality. Let's cut the fulminator mages. I'm gonna cut the engineer explosives. Okay. Too. Cut the fulminator mages well, completely. Tell me why first, so I don't have to rehab. We'll run four damping sphere. Well, we already have two extra slots though. We're already thirteen. I understand that. But but we're but your first your major point was I don't like that I don't like Tron either I definitely want to have answer, enough answers for Tron right so that's what I'm saying four damping sphere hits KCI hits Storm they stack so it's not like they don't stack when they're on the battlefield sure uh, it hits Tron it deals it, it slows down Tron like I think damping sphere seems having four doesn't seem that and you, you even said yourself I don't like having like how are we gonna draw these one and two ofs so I'm saying why don't you run four <laughs> because it hits multiple matchups and it gives us four and there's nothing wrong with drawing two. <clears throat> why Why two, two Fulminator Mages over a fourth sphere and then ha now we have three slots open? You see what I'm saying? And then we well, because, three of a card. Because, okay, so the Tron decks can actually kill this and they bring in natu nature, Natural Nature's Claim. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, if you just play a Fulminator Mage and kill one of their Tron lands, it's just better, right? So, I mean, like, I mean, I think three Damping Sphere is <clears throat> enough. All right, what about if you put... And also, eight... like, this is just a beater. Like, if you bring this in against Tron and they're not close to having Tron, you just get to attack with it. So, I mean, like, it does more things. What about um, the three mana, gain six life, get three soldiers? Um, timely reinforcements? What about two timely? You guys keep mentioning Campbell. I think Campbell is good. Um, I don't think he's great, though. I do like some life gain. Like, either timely reinforcements or, like, Core Firewalker would be good. Oriok Champion is also very good. Blessed Alliance isn't bad. One Blessed Alliance. For what, though? Grixis Death Shadow. I actually don't. I mean, like, we have we have paths and Fatal Pushes. I'm not super... Mm, sure. And we also have Rats yeah, and Damnations. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <clears throat> I've never, I'm just never impressed with Blessed Alliance. Honestly, Core Firewalker is interesting because you can actually even bring that in against Storm. And if they don't have a Deterministic Kill, then you're not just dead. That seems relevant. A deterministic kill? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what they that's what they call it. Who calls it that? Uh, everyone in the Storm community. When they're demoing? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Do we keep the anguish on making? Yes. Don't ask me what for. When we when we when we run into the deck, I'll tell you. Oh, let's we can play it like this. We'll see, see how this goes. Yeah. Do you want to cut the the twenty fifth land for one mines for a third mindstone? Nope. Just because we do have double double white double black requirements. Okay. All right, let's see. We should try it. We may not even want mind stones. That's true. I agree with that as well. It does ramp us from uh, what are our fours? Just wraths and Gideons. Gideon. That's a good Gideon. Though. Yeah, that's a good four. It's only, a, but that's a good four if it's on the on an empty battlefield. The two two isn't really. If they have creatures, we don't kill it. Two two is pretty small in modern. Is Spyglass something you want? Not in modern. All right, you ready? Ooh, actually, fine. I'll yeah, keep I'll it. keep that deck. Keep You're that gonna deck. keep this whole deck? The whole deck. We're just gonna keep it for at least Sounds a match good. or Sounds two. Sounds good. Put this up here in case you want to look at that. I like it. I like you. Thanks, man. We're good friends, bro. We are. That's why I live in the bushes out front. Why don't you just come inside more often, man? I don't know. I don't want to take advantage of our friendship. <clears throat> don't worry about it, man. We're past that. I can't afford. I can barely afford the bushes. What are they charging you, man? It's you. What am I charging you? I haven't put money in your... Ma you didn't get the money in your mailbox? It was either Felipe or Mike. Oh, my God. They've been holding out, bro. 
Oh god, we're playing ad nauseum. <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's find out for sure. It's hundred percent. See Chrome Ghost, unless they're playing pure jank. <clears throat> but they didn't cantrip, which is Keep going. Tell me more. <laughs> I mean, I guess you take well It's hundred percent value. Is it? I don't care about Reflector Mage. We have Fatal Push already. Correct, but it's gonna cost us two, so we can't actually do anything next turn. We're gonna have a literal blank turn two. This is turn two. So next turn, they we're going to be on turn three. Next turn, we fatal push it. I think meddling mage is worse if they... Is Bugler not the worst card? No. Bugler doesn't do anything. Bugler just gets another guy that we kill with a wrath. All right, whatever. All right, I'm going to trust you. I don't... This doesn't feel right because I don't think, like... I guess they name fatal push with meddling mage. I don't know if I care about that, though. Like, we would, we, we already... You would if they top deck Athalia that we just took. You know what I'm saying? You, would, you know what I'm saying? Tap, take, take, Come on, land. We just can't. See, now we can't do... Like, I, now we can do one thing. You do it on their turn. Do one on their turn. Just push it. Ah. <laughs> push it. What is their hand? Did they have any, a third land? Yeah, they did. All right, so they played Plains and Thalia. So this is their hand and one other card. One unknowny boy. There's Thoughtseize here? No, there's nothing. We, I mean, we're look, it's a potential one of. Maybe they bugle her next turn and hits and grabs something we want to take. But we don't have a Wrath, so I'd rather just get the guy off the board. We have no way to officially deal with this or anything else in their hand. We have no extra lands. So I'd much rather play to the cards that they have and deal with those. Then I'd rather take two from this and permanently get rid of a two for one. Cool. Okay, so we're just leaving with Reflector Mage and, and then we lands. can push their Correct. their their their, their Thalia. Okay, I, I can see the argument for that. Because, like, if they just play this, we're like we're out of answers. We don't have anything to do. This is exactly how I felt. <laughs> Humans, Humans with, with a sea crow. crow. What are you doing, man? <laughs> I have seen blue-eyed humans next, though. Blue-eyed taxes, basically. No, uh, no teagues. I take them. No, no, my bad. No mage. No mage in hand because we already took it, though. Ah, took it. I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> what did you hit? What did you draw? An Aether Vial? Nah, you got that. it. We don't care about that. You... Can we get lands, please? Got it. Jesus. Cheez it's Just gonna pass here. Do we want to pass? Like, what if they draw, like... Is there anything they can draw that blinks this thing? Yeah, on three. If they had... If they can instant speed three mana. Oh! Resto. Do they play Resto? They could. Yeah, I don't... But is it... Well, but you can still do it because you can respond if you want. You can respond to the unclaimed territory trigger. Doesn't it? That's th not a trigger. Yeah. It's oh, a, as it enters the battlefield, trigger, yeah. choose a creature type. You're right. You don't know how triggers work? You're making me triggered with your... You're not really triggered, though. Oh, well, there's a bug on the floor. Gotta kill it. Kill it. Give me one of the shoes. Give me Holy shoe. crap, there's a shoe by your foot. No, I need like a flip-flop. Sorry, guys. Hold on. You gotta kill Mothra. It's literally... No, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's another... It's, a, it's one of the bad ones. Godzilla? Oh god. <clears throat> is it a spider? Tell me now. No, it was a little it's a little tiny cucaracha that I was not thrilled with with living. Remember, I'm sorry guys. Where there's one, there's forty four. I'm not an advocate of violence and usually I try to set bugs free when I can, but All right, can uh, we hit a lamb? Those are one of the few bugs that I have no sympathy for, so I apologize. Hmm. Oh they said good luck, have fun. Oh that was great for us. I was hoping they wasted their turn doing that. Yeah, I wanted them to pay two for it, so. You tap I'm going to pay a black for it. You should it. do that. That's a thing. So we know their hand still. Yeah. It's boop. But then again, so is our deck. So we have what, we have 25 lands and two... Uh, two Mindstonies. Mind That's cool. Two Mindstoney boys. Roaches like pack rats kill on sight. And obviously, yeah. <laughs> well, I've actually never had a problem to that extent with roaches, thankfully. Looks like your room is trying to get away from that roach. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do with it's itself. To back on the stand. It's like, hey, I gotta get back. It's funny that the, the roach is like, I'm gonna go under this vacuum. What if I just turn the vacuum on while the roach is underneath it? It just sucks it right up. It would just live in there. What are you doing? Please stop. I'm Please. scared. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. It's not like we did anything on our turn anyway, I guess. Hey, go back to that card real quick. It says, when it enters the battlefield, exile, you can run Torpor Orb. 
Yeah, but then it's just you're not really taking advantage of the card. You're there's just... there's no way in modern to take advantage of that card. You can run. Is Dreadnought in modern? Is there a card that puts any number of cards from your grave? No, Dread. There is a card. There is a card. Uh, it what costs. Piece? I think it costs one white. It's like return recover from exile, or something. It costs one white, and it, and it lets you put... Oh, but it's only one card, I think. You can only put one card from your exile. That's not going to do it. Yeah, it doesn't do it. Manus Rider? Wow. One righty boy. So we still another hand, right? You, you it's know what beats that? Just... If we could cast a Gideon. <laughs> yeah, Gideon's pretty good here. Hey, we did it. Oh, we did it. If you don't go back on your stand, I swear to Gideon. She's having a good time. You think the Rob's opponent... getting cute with these commander staples. <laughs> what was I even talking about? That's a commander staple. Torpor Orb? Oh, yeah. Probably. Is that really a commander staple? I mean, I play commander. I don't feel like people run that. I just work here. <laughs> I just press the buttons, friend. Friend of. <clears throat> so if we hit, like, land drops now, we just... If we hit game. three lands in a row, this game probably we can't... We game. probably can't lose. Yeah. If they don't cast... We have spells. infinite lingering souls for days. We have a Gideon... I like that we have a good distribution of Gideons here, too, because we're not going to have to double up on anything. They're like twins, but they're not identical. Where do you... What do you want to get... Where's... What are you feeling for food later? Are we ordering food? And then still playing and eating? No, I like taking a break. That's my break time. Okay. I like Boston Market. The Boma. So champion's gonna deal it too. That's no big deal, honestly. Well, we can just lingering souls too. You go on a night whisper, don't we? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I'm like, I want to hit my land drop. But they're also don't forget they can also just flash in, uh, reflector mage and then attack for four. So. Still can't kill it. Oh, I see what you mean. I think we have to night whisper to hit land drops here, and plus if we can hit a one mana thing. We oh that's that's not bad at all. That's, that's great. It's actually very good. Yep, that's really good for us. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be good. Notice that we didn't hit any lands, though. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go down to 24 lands. Cause... Dude, I'm I'm down for chicken. Seriously, I'm down for Boston Market. Okay, why don't you take it easy? Sorry, you're just being a little aggressive right now. And I want a chicken. Who's getting me chicken? I want a pot pie, actually. We never got pot pies. Yeah, that's that. because they don't have them. There. Wow, they didn't just they didn't just throw the reclamate the. They probably want to like reflector mage when you activate your, like you're a bad player. Yeah, I'm gonna like activate getting an attack and then like bounce it. And I'm like, oh, got him. Why didn't I know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to cook, Frank? I would never cook, Frank. He's a good friend of mine. I appreciate that, man. You're welcome. Thank. I didn't thank you. I just appreciate it. Ah. Huh? Uh, I actually do enjoy cooking. So do I. Okay, it's not a contest. <laughs> I'm just gonna fatal push this guy. I would. Okay, well, we got <laughs> I think it's hilarious that I kill I had to move the robot vacuum to kill the roach, and then the robot vacuum goes right on it like when she was trying to get back to the, the stand, it actually sucked up the roach. So it's probably like, hey, I'll take care of it from here. I got it from here, thanks. <laughs> I didn't read this comment. It says I'm impressed by how in sync you both you both were to end that bug. I like bugs. Thank goodness. So I don't think we're playing this. I think we're probably just playing this tapped and lingering soulsing. Lingering soulsing. Does that sound good to you? What soulsing is it? It's lingering soulsing. Lingering soulsing. Uh, because yeah. I don't really want to go to seven. No, here. I like that. I'm down. But I do want to hit my. I'm land. DTS. I mean, they're gonna bounce one with a reflector mage, undoubtedly. Yeah, let me jump. But if we draw land, we get to play Gideon Jura, which is pretty <clears> good. <throat> if you're trying to impress Soul Mike, what would you cook for him? Um. I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> Probably some kind of meat dish. That's true. That's a good start. It's the quickest way to my heart. Straight through the meat. Straight through the meat? Straight through the meat. <laughs> um, since no one asked, I'm just going to say it. I would cook Frank a um, some sort of artichoke dish. <clears throat> Was that your chair? Was what my chair? I just want to know if that was your chair. Did you hear a fart noise? I did. It was, I did there was no fart that was there. Maybe here. it was pup? Maybe it was you farting and you're trying to pr pawn it off on me. No, because I definitely wouldn't sit next to you and then do that. That's so weird. Yeah, you would. I wouldn't. You not. wouldn't sit next to me and fart? 100% I wouldn't do that. No, absolutely not. Because I wouldn't want to be in that position, so why would I put you in that position? I don't know why you do the things you do. That's an interesting play. 
Yeah, main phase, no less. In response, but like reflector. Uh... Oh, no, this is smart. Okay, this is good. Because then it pumps both of them. Oh. oh, boy. Well, we can still block. Yeah. We're going to draw We're gonna draw Day of Judgment right now, anyways. Oh, that'd be gas. Or land. Honestly, stream, who farted? <laughs> <laughs> no one you, did. You have to get through some meat to get to Rob's heart. Just a little bit. Oh, boy. They're cheating. No, we just take this. We block this one, and then Gideon is un unscathed. How is it? This is the only creature that can attack, you know. Speaking of farts, MeUndies. <laughs> That's true. MeUndies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off and free shipping and free returns. Free returns. How do you even beat that? If they don't fit, if you don't like them, you will. But if you don't... Use them once. Return them. Don't even have to wash it. But don't return them because they're super comfortable, man. And women. A bold strategy, Cotton. Mantis, Mantis Rider. Maybe they think you miss block. Maybe they think on... That's not what we wanted. This is exhausting, dude. How did they win with 24 lands, honestly? Like, when I saw 24 lands, I was like, what? No way. Mantis, Mantis Rider. Is that a G.I. Joe song I was singing? What was that? What was that? Mantis, Mantis Rider? Not the words. Dun, 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 dun. That's not a song. Okay. It sounded like one when I sang it. You're, are you singing Macho Man? No. Mantis, <laughs> Mantis Rider. Do you? <laughs> I want to be a Mantis Rider. Are they just tagging our face again? <laughs> wow, oh. they don't even care about. <clears throat> Mantis. We can make four spirit boys. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Making making them bigger? That's oh, my God. Cheating. Can we just draw a day of judgment? Yeah, I mean, or, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Wrath of God. I think it was Swell Mike. He was way too vehement with the denial. You're like, I would never do that. I really wouldn't, though. I wouldn't put you Come in on, situation. one time. Well, I mean, it's land that we wanted four turns ago. We got a Gidge in here. You can make four. Oh, they, they, all, they all have to attack him, right? Yeah, but then they just kill him, right? But it buys us a turn. Our other option is to Lingering Souls, Lingering Souls. That also buys us a turn. Actually, that buys us more than a turn because we could do it again next turn. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. Actually, we can actually stack the blocks to get rid of a creature, too. Possibly. Oh, no, that's a 5-5 five, five and a 5-5. Five, five. Mantis. Shut up with your Mantis Rider the song. The dream is dying. It's really not. It's pretty dead. It's not at all. Did you ever think about making an emblem? No. Me neither. I have not had a turn to do that. Me neither. <laughs> friends fart next to friends. It's the only reason to have friends. Maybe that was the noise I heard. I think that might have been it. You think that was a fart? The metal lid of well, my trash can under my I wasn't desk. paying attention to it. Then how did, why oh, did you it's just the Jetsons. Dun, 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 dun. That's not what I was doing. Mantis. I mean, it's close. Mantis Rider. Oh, maybe it is. No, that's it the is. Flintstones. That's the Flintstones, though. That's not the Jetsons. No, yeah, isn't it? Jetsons, meet the Jetsons. No, that's Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. <laughs> oh They're a modern Stone Age family. That's funny. You're right. <clears throat> that's the Flintstones. Thanks, no beats. So I block you and hope you don't have a dude. I don't want to go to three, so everybody everybody blocks everybody. And then they're like, but the joke is on I you. I did draw a two-mana creature. It's another Thalia's lieutenant. That would be so... Okay. Sure. Well, we still have the mana. Mana. It's the mana. Da, 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 da. Is your song available on Spotify yet? <laughs> oh, my God. This is why I hate this land. I utterly hate this land. But what does that honestly do? Gain life from... So oh, I guess gain life from Soren. I don't care. I don't like you anymore. This is your deck, man. I mean, we have three Wrath Effects in the main deck, and we board into one more, so I feel like we're in... And we also have, like, turn after turn after turn. Let's just do one of these jobbies. We'll play this guy. Make a... Are you going to make a... Nope. We have a, they have a Thalia out, so we can't cast that. We also can't... We're also dead because we have double Lingering Souls. This is why... This is... This is why it's bad. <laughs> because we're actually dead here. We can't cast this, this... Um... <laughs> yep, that was the, the literal Thalia was what they had to draw. <clears throat> they literally drew a spell every turn for what, four turns in a row? Four or five turns? I don't know. I couldn't tell through all the lands they didn't have. Yep, let's bring in that guy. Take out. Probably Gideon Alley was in the car. I don't think he's great here. Mm -mm. Don't care about Damping Sphere. Don't care about. Eh, Disenchant's meh. 
don't care about you. Anguish on making is kind of meh. Falling or made. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah. Like, we have four Wrath effects. I think it's actually pretty good against them. Like, we also have five uh, one mana removal spells, which I think is fine. I don't want to disenchant a vial. That's a terrible value. Mm -mm. Like, their vials are already pretty dead. Me, George Jetson. Plus, like, they have four vials. We have one disenchant. Like, <clears throat> meh. If we draw a vial on any 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 turn past like turn four, it's just like a blank. My name is Swell Mike, and I think all the song sounds like the Jets. You don't even know the Jetson song. Sing the Jetson song right now. Do 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 do. Meet George Jetson. Okay, yes, that is correct. However, that sounds nothing like the song you're singing. I just proved you right, man. Well, you proved me right. Thank you. I couldn't sing it. Wasn't that the... Oh, keep. Snap, keep. You don't like this game? Yeah, I know I do. I just feel like we're going to get blown out for some reason. I'm trying, I was literally trying to think. I'm like, what do they have? Skuller? Or, um... But they are black. <sighs> no one drop. That's good for us. Beautiful. That was so beautiful. Oh, we can chump block. Or we can just get in. Gideon. Oh, we need the double white, you meant. Actually, yeah, Bjorn said Emblem plus Gideon might have saved us, because they have to actually send two guys at each Gideon. Mm -hmm. Probably three guys at one of the Gideons. Two guys at one of the Gideons, one guy at another Gideon. The Gideon, when it pluses, the one that destroys <clears throat> tap creatures, doesn't it add a loyalty counter for each creature on the battlefield? No. Oh, just... That's like Gideon. That's like the worst Gideon. It's like champion of something, dude. What Gideon are you talking about? That's like the weird... What did the What does the plus do? On this... No, the the other one that we had. It becomes a creature. It becomes a five five that attack. It's Gideon Alive Zendikar. It's the the standard one. No, Gideon out. No, no, no. The other. Oh, I see what you meant. I understand what you're saying. What are you talking? I this... was talking about the other Gideon, the the five drop. The pluses they have to attack it. Yeah, but I'm asking how much is it plus four? Oh, wait, they had black. What are you saying right? Now? I just did we see. Black are you on black? medication? Did right we now? see black last game? They have uncharted, unclaimed territory. I understand that, but did we see black last game? We only saw blue white, right? Guys, please, he's stroking out real bad. <laughs> Someone call the, the hospital and have them. I just got confused because I literally was just <laughs> saying what cards could they blow us out with in black, and I'm like, oh, but wait, they were only blue white. Who cares about them blowing us out with black cards? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, what are you talking I'm going back to our conversation that we had at the beginning of the hand. You're like, what? You don't like this hand? I said, I feel like we're going to get blown out. And I was thinking of cards that were black that... Why, though? It. Because you were asking me how No, but why would, you, why would you worry about specifically black cards that could blow us out? Because I couldn't think of anything in blue. I couldn't think of a blue creature that was able to, to do anything. This is nice, because no matter which they take, we're going to get three for one here. And then we're going to draw two off of it, so... That's cool. They're looking at her hand like, oh. Wow, this is awkward. Well... Your choice. <clears throat> also, perfect mana, by the way. I doubt they have Spell Queller. Even if they do, who gives it? Who, who even cares? Uh, I'm going to block. Why would you take damage? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Rob's a racist. All right, well. You know. Yes, what's your emergency? Frank, my friend is talking weird stuff about MTG cards. We sent a whole team ASAP. Please stay with him, us and keep on talking. Keep him from talking. Yikes. Yikes. We can also kill this and puts them real. Ah. Uh, Bjorn. That's right. I was trying to think. I couldn't remember. We saw Manus Rider, so we knew they weren't blue white. Oh, yeah. I could have told I you that. Dummy. <laughs> As if I don't get it from chat enough. I guess we're just going to Wrath here, right? Why wouldn't we? Now well, let's attack for one, I guess. They're not going to play anything if we don't, if we don't Wrath. <clears throat> Modern Stone Age family. That's the Jetsons, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The champion of Justice League. Go -go. Goodbye, all your creatures. Look at all those dead humans. Look at all these Gideons back in my hand. Look at those Gids. We did it. Oh, I hope they cast one one human here. Why? So we can just this yes. guy? <laughs> they can't even cast Manus Rider. With their mana right this now. is actually a great card to follow up with this because it forces them to play multiple threats and they usually don't have those. Oh, we're going to be doing that we're soon. Get there. 
Do we actually want to kill their unclaimed territory? No, because then we can't play Gideon, I guess. One, two, three, one. No, we can't. That was a good idea, though. I can't tell if you're in. Wait, why are you playing that one? Yeah, okay. Because it it's a misclick, okay? I misclicked. Sorry for asking. I forgive you. Thank you. I forgive your face. Stick a pencil down my throat. Throat? Yeah, my throat. <laughs> so I don't swallow my tongue. Is... Are you... No, I'm not going to do that. All right. Well, sounded enjoyable. Oh, they're going to play Meddling Mage and Name Damnation, and it's going to really be bad for us. I'm going to cry. Do you want to see me cry? No. Okay. Even if they name Meddling Mage... Oh, it's Manus Rider. Cheats. Cheats McGeats. I feel like we're okay with this still. I still have this. They know and we get to keep the Gideon. Correct. That is how Gideon works. <laughs> From the town of yeah, Swole Mike. I would make I would make an emblem here. Just to get it on the battlefield. No, that's not what we're doing. We're doing this gently. Okay. Alright, well, hey. That's a good line. Come I, up come with that with yourself. I did. Mm. I'm a smart cookie. We knew they had black for ad nauseum. To be fair, any person that plays modern would say ad nauseum if they saw Secret Coast. That ziggurat's so old. <laughs> you might say it's ancient. Mm. Oh, another one? My god. Another one. Oh, they got two people. Oh, I forgot we had a lingering souls in the graveyard. That's nice. So did I. <laughs> That's a valuable card to have sitting <clears throat> sitting there. Well, the best part is if we hit a land on nights. It's still fine. I was thinking you could Night's Whisper Lingering Souls. I mean, we can still Lingering Souls here, which I think is fine. Do we Lingering Souls, or do we take the chance that they have Reflector Mage? They might have just removed all the Reflector Mages. I don't think we care about Reflector Mage. Well, because my idea was we could Gideon Ally of Zendikar make a dude that can trade with the Lieutenant. They only have one card in hand. So we could plus on the Thalia. We're definitely doing that. Yeah, and then make... make <clears throat> Actually, and... I think we should still Night's Whisper here. Because if we hit any non-concealed courtyard land, we can still Lingering Souls, and I do want to make sure we... There we go. That, that was my first plan. I didn't know if we wanted to take the chance. Because we drew the non... the tap land. I always want to take the chance. See you later, Dimitri. Dimitri, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your coffee. Happy New Year, bro. Kill Canopy. Don't tell us what to do. There's two Canopies, though. Yeah, which one? Sorengrim Nemesis looks like if someone told Rob Liefeld to tone down the muscles but ramp up the brooding. Oh, yeah, that's real. <laughs> that's real true. You could probably grow hair like that. Your hair would look like that. Okay. I will. This weekend. Wow. Nice. One of two cards in your hand. Wowza. Congratulations. That's actually incredible to me. Wowza. Now they get to kill our Gideon. <clears throat> I am. That's pretty good. Pretty impressed. We're actually still okay here. They have well, they have one card in hand, so but they're gonna, they're gonna have two. So do you? Mm, that's an interesting choice. Why? I just kill this, and they have a two-two. <clears throat> they can't deal damage to Gideon. They're gonna have or three cards in hand. This? No, I think we killed Thalia. Well, Thalia does shut off another card. I think he killed Thalia. <clears throat> My thought was the Inquisition in Cas Gideon. I don't think that does anything. Like, we can't block Thalia, so they just attack Gideon. Like, I'd rather just have Sorn on board that can, like, actually... Sure. Threaten to draw his cards next turn. Is his plus plus one? Yes. Okay. So we, we go to goes to five, draws a card. Extra card, yeah. <clears throat> plus like our mana's less restricted now now that we have Thalia off the board. So we're fading a mana a mana or a mana trader. Thank you. To Sarah Official, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Here comes a mana trader. Jesus. Wow, they really have it all every ridiculous. single turn. That's amazing. This is insane. Seems good. God, this is insane. At least they have to throw both at Soren. After we've Damnation and Wrath of God. Oh my god, game. no, they do have everything. Because look, now they can attack it with just the, uh, the Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh my god! 
We've seen like five cards in their deck. <clears throat> This has been dumb. Must be nice. This is insane. They're both going... They're going... Oh, okay. I forgot about this guy. Sure. Yep. Seems good. Jesus. I mean, at this point, it's just... Cool inquis... <laughs> awesome. There's nothing we do. That was... That was insane top decks. Maybe we do want a fifth... Um, board wipe. Against spirits. Against... <clears throat> This is why I don't like seven of these, because you're just going to draw them at the wrong time. I said I like five. I like the three-two split. Three thoughts, sees two Inquisition. Personally. You like what? Three-two split. So I like five. I think six is good. I don't think we need less than six. I think you want to have one on turn one. It's so one of the deck's biggest. Do you want to free up the board slot and cut one Inquisition and bring in the Wrath? And just have four main deck? No, I don't want to cut one of these. I like six. Oh, I like having six of these. I don't know what, what's what's the what's what's the question here. What's going on? I thought we had seven. I thought you were saying no, we this have is why six. I don't like seven. Okay. No, that's why I don't like seven of these because we already drew yeah. an untimely Inquisition and Thoughtseize that game. Like I don't want to have it happen more so than that. I also don't think you need more than three. Like three is is feels correct. Like we just we never drew a path. We saw one fatal push in two games. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it was one game. Yeah, exactly. It was one match. I mean, that, and they drew so hot. That that person drew so hot. Yep, they drew pretty well. Are you running Marsh Flats? No, we actually took the Marsh Flats out. There's no incentive to running Marsh Flats. Mentioned earlier, I have other stuff going on, but screw it. I'm enjoying myself and watching on YouTube for five years. So this seems right. Thanks for the con. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Thank you for the long time support. Really means a lot. I think we cut Lingering Souls versus Humans, perhaps Knight of Souls Betrayal. And so um, I like Knight of Souls Betrayal a lot. Um, I don't want to cut Lingering Souls, though, just because it's like... Wait, Knight of Souls Betrayal? Like, well, in that really... in that match alone, like, we got screwed by Courtyards twice. Mm -hmm. Marsh Thoughts might be better than Courtyard. I actually think it's... Oh, no, come back. Don't, don't start yet. Come on, please show me the thing that I was on. Oh, my God, where is the friggin' thing? You're already in it? Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Jeez. <clears throat> Yeah, concealed core is just it's it's fine early, but in the late game, like when you're trying to hit four drop, five drop, six drop, like it sucks. Plus, this does trigger a fatal push, and I think fatal push is probably better than path. But do we want one more fatal push? Dude, that person had four in theirs. I do like one more fatal push. Do we need double obnixless? Do we need three of the four mana Gideons? Like, no, I don't. I don't think we need that. That seems like a. a a Gideon that's only good in certain board states. I'm gonna, cut, I'm gonna go 24 lands. After getting Landscape the first game? That that's that's yes, because that's only I know it was one game, but man, that scares me. Well, we'll see how it goes then. Murder cycles. <laughs> murder cult murder cults. Murder cults? Murder cults. Oh, that's all murder cults. What hurts? Murder cults. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what hurts. Sir, can you show me on your murder cults where it hurts? <laughs> Wait, play it, play it, play it. Play what? The the thing you put on there. Did you put it on there? No, not oh, yet. Oh god, that was good. Medirkles. Oh my god. Why the wrath? Because there's no reason not to have a wrath damnation split. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if they meddling mage for one, you want to have others. Oh, I guess we're bringing in them core firewalkers. Man, this feels bad. <laughs> Hand looked pretty good. Just getting a. Basic. Oh my god! It almost. Medirkles. I barely know her. <laughs> what do you? What do you? Uh, you're just fetching. Um, I'm just gonna fetch Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the um, the deck list I sent you from Saffron Oliver. Earlier. Plus, like surgical extraction. If they if they make you discard a damnation and then then like. You don't want to surgical every single one. There's no reason if you have similar effects in the colors that you're playing. There's literally no reason to ever play the same. <clears throat> oh, I love this. Chugrin, thank you so much for the 35 months in a row. That is insane, dude. Three years. This is good for us. Give me the trials. Yeah, that's fine. You, can... you want to keep it? I don't think you keep that. No, we're not. We're shuffling. Oh, we okay. have to shuffle to fetch for a godless shrine. There's no way I'm taking two extra damage. Uh, isn't this also a perfect game to have Path Exile instead of Fatal Push? Not. Hey, Chapel's nice. 
<clears throat> I actually think you thought these because it nets you a it life. It nets you a life, right? Yep. Actually, two. Well, if they have like well, skull crack or something, it's searing blaze. Oh, yeah, that's, that's terrible against us. Searing blazes? Yeah, I guess not... you're right. Actually, we just yeah. earth bolt. They have one suspended, so we're probably gonna path their dude. Here. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna see if I hit a land first. Yeah, yeah. Let it. Tri- well, I don't think you're pathing the goblin guard, are you? Nah, well, I mean, like the problem is if they don't hit runner runner, like this is one damage versus two damage. Uh. They're never gonna have two spells in one turn. So, like with one card in hand, this is always gonna be one spell per turn. That makes sense. You're right. God, you're smart. Well. He was a pro. People paid him money. <laughs> they they did. They did pay me money at one point. And that point was today and all days before. A few times today. Quite. Just heard Surgical is that good? It's uh, good against Dredge, Phoenix. Uh, what about... Yeah, Surgical is great. Uh, we don't have it. I don't think it's... It's a great sideboard card. I'm not a big fan of it. it that's... Uh, there's some cards that are good that I just don't love because I don't love the way they work. Inquisition. Hmm. It's actually not bad there on two lands with two cards in hand. And, well, one of them is Searing Blaze. At least we know we're going to hit. We know we're going to hit. And that actually frees up if we draw Lingering Souls. So that's kind of relevant. We know we're going to hit. <laughs> <clears throat> Meet Georgia. I'm sorry. Meet Georgia. 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 So what are we doing here? Are we going to Inquisition and then Knight's Whisper? That seems bad. I think you Knight, Knight's Whisper. In case you draw a fatal push, we're at seven. Like, what, what are our, what are our options here? Like, do we have life gain in the deck? No, which is why my version had Bane Slayer because you drop a Bane Slayer in this matchup and it's just game over. Just lights McAlderson. I'm gonna yeah, let's do this first, and then they're gonna skull crack in response, which technically saves a point of damage. Okay. Not if they do in response. This feels so bad. It feels terrible. Yeah. But. On the whole. We don't have. Dang. I called that. Called it. Yeah, we should have done it first. Like, yeah. There's I, no upside to it. Well, because I was like, well, if they're, you know, if we, if we. Oh, boy. We're dead. No, we're at three. It's good. <laughs> Said no one ever versus, <laughs> versus a burn. No, we're at two. It's okay, we got this, bro. Don't be a baby. My, my, my mind stone. They're not going to hit it. They're just going to whiff. We can't even do Obnixilis. We can only minus. We can. We can go to one. <laughs> it's irrelevant. It look, just shuts they, off look, our They just hit Wooded Foothills. They're basically dead. They marsh Flatties. They can't win this game. <clears throat> Don't talk about my Marsh Flatties like that. <laughs> marsh Flatties. Murticles. Definitely don't talk about my murticles like that. Hello, Unseen Spectre. I love how people know me. No one knows you. Unseen Spectre knew me. You're a nobody. Ooh, someone sent me a message on hmm? Facebook. Nope. You ready? This is our death. Here it comes. Let me listen. I thought you were hitting a sound bite. That's a mic. That's not a speaker. I know, I just want to hear it. That's literally still not how the... I can't. All right. Why does he do this? Can someone explain to me why Rob... Is the way he is. Soren does gain life, and we we're dead. And we're dead. Yeah, Soren does gain life, but let's see if we would have drawn Soren. No. None of those are Sorens. <coughs> Core Fireworker seems great. Great. Fulminator Mage isn't bad. Blocks and sacks. Blocks and sacks and blocks and sacks and blocks and sacks and. Getting rid of their white sources is relevant. Take out a Knight's Whisper. <clears throat> yeah, that seems probably like all I want. I think if you just resolve a core firewalker, they can't win. If you, yeah, if you, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, see? Sorry, what? I just wanted to meet George Jesson. His, what about his boy Elroy? Hey, look, we drew the... It's a good. Nice whisper. We drew the nice whisper. Give me your best, your best, your best boy. Eidolon, gotta go. Gotta yeah, gotta go. Yeah. But you can take that next turn. You can play Marsh Flats into a Tapline next turn. Take a Grimmy. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Take old Grim Grin. One one repeatable shock. One repeatable shocky boy. This is where they go Simeon Spirit Guide. Skull cracks. Watch out for... Sk that wasn't in their hand before. They're very good at this game. They didn't have that. that wasn't oh! I'm gonna keep it! You still gotta... I think you gotta take the Adelon, though. Yeah, of course you do. Take the Adelon. Hey, man, get your Adelon. I mean, this is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8 damage. But I guess, actually, it's only, like, really... It's only, it's it's actually 9 damage to go to 7. But then we play this guy, and we're gonna gain 2 from both of these, presumably. And then we're gonna Night's Whisper to go back down to 5. <coughs> Yeah, I like it. I'm not going down to five. What are you, insane? <laughs> what are you, nuts? What are you, crazy? <laughs> top deck goblin guy and a top deck idol. This is insane. Welcome to my, my magic look. I'm glad these people don't live next to us for the tournament. Jesus. They might as well. God. And no land, right? Oh, the seven drop. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's a six drop. Or a six drop, sorry. I'm Whatever. not sure there's that big of a difference. It's not. Oh, we still another whole hand, I guess. Well, they play this mountain? Sure. Chuck, thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Oh, let me just take a couple damage here. It's fine. Jesus. We'll never take any more again. It's insane. I guess we still will. No, they won't attack. I mean, they're going to cast like, like Rift, Lightning Bolt and Rift Bolt, but it's the seven, so. Man, Core Firewalker is pretty good. It's very good. It is very good. Like in they multiples, just don't attack. it's real good. All right, oh, in multiples, they just lose. Oh, I thought it was another one. Nope, it was a white card. I'm casting uh, Night's Whisper and hit a land drop. I, I, we don't win the game like this, I don't think. I mean, do you agree with that, at least? Yeah, but we're taking four from this. Oh, because the island. You're We're right. Taking I'm sorry. You're two right. from the grid. The, 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 so that's six. We go to five. You're right. Lightning Bolt puts us to three. You're right. They can attack with both, put us to one. No, we're not. definitely not casting Knight's Whisper. I just here. wanted to think it over. Okay, well, I appreciate it, but I think I'm going to pass. Oh, I just realized something. Gideon turns off Eidolon. Isn't it prevent all damage? Or is it combat? Uh, it's definitely not combat. It's definitely prevent all damage. Oh, yeah. that's pretty good. Would you like to take four to draw two cards? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Knew about that, dude. Uh, always yes. And always yield. I don't ever need to be interrupted by this again. <laughs> so we take we have seven here? That's reasonable. Yeah, we're Why fine. does he have lifelink? Can you just give this dude lifelink? Give the man lifelink as well. <clears throat> and they just took four? What a good deal. What a time to be... It's fine. No, it's just two damage. We better have a land on top. If we don't have land, I'm going to slap you. Can we have two lands on top? That would be gas. They can't attack with this guy, right? No, they just attack with both goblin guys to get to it. What? That doesn't make sense. All right, they lost. And they lost. They should have attacked there. I think that could have been relevant. I think we're way ahead now. We're doing it! If we can hit another Firewalker, we'll be in business. <laughs> All their spells hit them for two and only hit us for one. Come on, Magical Christmas Land. Well, look where we're at. Well, we still need to be able to play. I don't, I'm never going to play a three drop until. Really? We go to, You want to go to four? Any spell they cast lowers us anyways. Lowers us? Yeah, it takes us. I, I'm trying to understand your logic here. What are you just trying to draw? You're not going to cast a spell until you get land and four drop? Board wipe? I just want them to cast something so we go up. I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. That was my point. They cast something, we're going to go down. Tell me more. Right. My point is, if they cast something, we're going to go down, but we're going to go down anyway. Like That was my point. My point is, we're going further down. Yeah. Just to come back up. How are we coming back up? You never know, man. No, not... I... All right, we're getting there. Two more land drops. Oh, Gideon Emblem seems good. Oh, that's very good. Go chat. Boros Charm, Boros Charm. Boros Charm, Boros Charm in response. You ready? That would be hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, see what happens. 
I mean, they can still lightning bolt oh. and kill Gideon, right? Like, it's not they're not, it's not preventing the damage. It really is, though. It gains us two life. I guess that's true. Actually. Yeah, that's, that's that that turns a corner for us. Again, this is perfectly fine. Always yes, and always yield. And the next turn, we can literally just start plusing on the Eidolon and then Lingering Souls. And oh, then yeah, I like just, that Then they lose. I mean, they can also attack here for four, right? They, I think they have to. Boros Charm kills it, us. No, it's like they got to attack Gideon, though. Yeah. Their hand is Boros Charm Lightning Bolt, so then they just Boros Charm our face. We go to two. We go to four. They attack with all eight guys, and they Lightning Bolt Gideon. <clears throat> all right, so land off the top is just insane here. Why? Because we get the Lingering Souls twice? Yes. Or... Wait. Oh, so they do have, light... they have a way to kill Gideon. But then we gain two from that. Whatever whatever way they have to kill Gideon, we gain two. So, land? No land. No land. Do we kill Eidolon? I don't, I don't think we kill Eidolon here. Why? Once they get rid of Gideon, like... Yeah, you're right, you're right. <clears throat> this is where they go skull crack. So they have to Kill literally bolt. have Bolt. They can have Skullcrack. Skullcrack is very good right here. Oh, skull! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, of course they have Skullcrack. Never don't have Skullcrack. I mean, we're still at eight. They kill Gideon. We go to four. Yep, that's pretty miserable. Also, this is not the land we wanted, but... Uh, one, two, yep. All right. This isn't bad here. I think we're at... We have to just hope they have a blank in hand. Wait, we know they have a Sacred Foundry, didn't they? Didn't they have the fetch line, or was that game one? I don't remember. We didn't actually... We two Inquisition twice. I they had like... a Bloodstained Mire. No, that was a Bloodstained Mire. Oh, okay, okay. okay. so. right. Our Fireworkers died because they skull cracked, so damage, damage can't, be, can't prevented. be prevented. Yeah. If we draw five mana Gideon, that would be insane. Oh, they're going to Searing Blaze here. Uh, uh, you can respond. What, kill our own guy? Yeah, they don't, oh, it still works, though, because it's double target, right, it's isn't it? it's two targets. So, I mean, like, I can't believe we just had double core Firewalker, and one skull crack is uh, enough to kill us here. They're going to kill us with a spell. They're not even going to give us a chance to fatal push. Sure. <laughs> That's actually okay. It's... Okay, well, I mean, if we if hit we a land, land, sure. Because <laughs> you can literally soar in and kill that thing. If it's not land, it's we're dead. <laughs> well, we have shambling vent. No. I guess. We have that. We also can hit a a, a board wipe. Oh, we did it. This is insane. Do you just minus your your soaring to go up to like to gain like five? Yeah, and then just put it uh, like. I think we can actually gain three with soaring because it lets soaring live. And just dead to Boros charm. I mean, I, they have four of them. So, but they have more three three mana spells, I guess, or three damage spells. <clears throat> I was gonna answer a question, but I think we already oh. answered it. Uh, kill this dude. So we go to four. If we go to like, I'd rather just have Soren alive. You, yeah, risk it for the biscuit. I mean, it's either five or three. No, I, I like that. I like I like just risking it. I like it. Uh, I just realized something. Tell me. Is the card bugged on Moto? The card? I don't yeah, know what you Look at the second ability. No, it's because X. X is always going to be last. Oh, you're right. It's different in... I think it's different in paper, but... Get ready for the balls, Chom boys. Yeah, it's negative X, then it's negative nine. Oh, okay. That made sense. Well, because negative nine is his ultimate, right? So it should be the last one. But on here, it's in order of cost. I do like having a, a shambling vent. Yeah, we can we can go back up to six here. Because they're going to... Even if they spend their resources killing the Soren, Obnixilus is pretty boopy. I guess it kills the, the Watchmaker. Oh, it actually... Oh, yeah, we went up to six. Right, right, right. Oh, no, they that... they attacked Soren. <clears throat> and they played a, another one of these guys. Fatal push. Uh, land is fine. We have Lingering Souls in a graveyard, but we can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can. Okay, so we can Obnixilus minus on the Eidolon and then cast Lingering Souls. I kind of like that. I don't think we have another option. 
I also don't think it's bad. We stay at four. Yeah, no. Stay. At, yeah, exactly. And we get two blockers. Man. Uh, definitely not passing with vents. Like, I'd rather... We're not going to win the game that way. No, we can't let them maintain a board. Pro- they have to draw land eventually, and that's the turn we pull ahead. They either blow us out or they, or they draw land and we, and we turn the corner. Yeah, we talked about losing a Boros turn, but actually we would have lost any two two to three damage burn spell because they the type of goblin got it. I don't know how I actually forgot that. I think if we get one hit with Shambling Vent, we're just way ahead. Well, that is not it. That's that's fine. That's actually not bad at all. That was really good for us. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna negative two this guy to go up yeah. to three and then attack with vents to put us to five. Put us to Five. Well, yeah. Because I don't want to be a three. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably just going to double block here then. Mm, can no. you do damage to their face? No, you can't. Single block. Yeah, but it leaves back a blocker, so if they draw a hasty boy. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not complaining. Yeah. Is Ob minus three? Uh, yes. All right. All right, all right. I'm trying to think of... So hold on. We could attack with Vents. We're 100% with... attacking Vents. Go to three. And then we're probably just going to play Lingering Souls and... Go to four here. All right. Is it worth it to try and plus the ob to be able to minus it next turn? No. Why didn't you plus the Soren first to see what we get? Because we're not going to do that because then we die. I'm not going to... We're going to use... We're going to negative Soren oh, to gain okay. life All because right. otherwise we die. If you could, any actually, three just, damage you could actually just ping it for one damage. Well, that's what I have to do. <laughs> like, that's the point. We're going to four. No, but I thought you said I'm going to minus two to kill the thing. Oh, saying... I don't care about the Goblin Guide. Yeah, I'm saying we can keep the Soren alive is what was my point. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Buddy. So you can Mind Stone and Lingering Souls? That's yeah. pretty good. We're doing stuff. We're, we're holding on. You almost could have attacked with your soul there. My soul? The whole thing. I'm actually just going to kill this guy. I think Soren's done. I'd rather be at five. It gets us an extra card? We don't need an extra card at this point. We're just way ahead. They're at seven. We have five power on board. Yeah, so that means we have lethal next turn. If we flip any non-land, we have lethal. Oh no! Well, I guess we lose a no, we, we like lose a, a soul. Drops. I and don't we're know, blocking man. this turn. Well, what I we... guess it keeps us alive from Boros Charm. We haven't seen a Boros Charm yet, so it's probably relevant. I think it's relevant to go to five. We're also gaining two more next turn, so we go to seven. Like, yeah, they have to draw. Even if they draw three three damage, three damage, we're still alive. Okay. I love it when we. Yeah, I'm not even gonna activate that, dude. <clears throat> Does that run four Boros Charms? Yeah, oh yeah. Pretty sure I'll burn those. Sure. Yeah, that's, that's good top decks. Give me a land this time. Double, I'll block. Block all day. Fallen Air Mage? Sure. That's actually good for us. Gets rid of the white. I know what it, I know what it does. We also have Field of Ruin to do that. I'd rather just use Field of Ruin. We have more than enough lands here. <clears throat> oh, it's actually two. I always overpay for Field of Ruin. It's actually better than I think it is. Might as well get a black, yeah. This has been a good game. Well, we're not dead yet. Yeah. We also can Mind Stone and just draw a card. Mm-hmm. Which is safer than both Knight's Whisper and Omnix. This is why I like having one Bane Slayer in the deck, because it's just a card where you're just like... I didn't have a problem with it. There's so many matchups where you're just like, well, I'll kill you. I didn't have a problem with it. Ooh. Well, I guess they only would have one card. Yeah, that's fine. No, we're making two more. Mmm, okay. I honestly didn't know we had a second one. Well... That's why they pay me the big bucks. Whew. To keep track of them graveyards. The big bits. You got it. The big bitch. You did. We could have actually probably drawn a card there. They had no cards in hand. We could have drawn with Ob. <clears throat> it's a fatal push. Ob? There you go. I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was one off. All right, you're going to sideboard. I'm going to use the restroom again. You're just too much water. He's got to take a little poop. I'm going to use yours because it's closer. That's fine. <clears throat> Actually, going to bring in one more of these for, like, 
Night's Whisper. I never want to cast Night's Whisper here. Disenchant is also a way to get rid of Eidolons, which is not terrible. Oh boy. This hand is great. If we can hit a black source. I think we're going to risk it because of the Firewalker. I guess we'll see. Playing against old Murdurkles. <laughs> oh, er, my God, Murdurkles. <laughs> Just made myself laugh. We have a good time. Oh, wow, that was a good hit. Yep, that'll do. That will do. Get her in there's going to for that deep down body thirst. I'm just gonna pass here. <clears throat> That's our hand. So this is what we opened on. And I was like, oh we got Core Firewalker and Fatal Push and Gideon. And then we drew this. And I was like, oh, that's oh you got very there for good. the double white, yeah. Well, and the black, so... Oh, for the push, sure. <clears throat> and other black cards in our deck. Mm. Yeah. We can cast them. We're at, we're at 10 already, though, because they went double bolt this guy. Three cards in hand, though. Yeah, but next turn will be four. It's got to be Firewalker here, right? It's 100% Firewalker. So what what does Skullcrack do for us? Skullcrack it would kills this and... deal four damage to us tops. They could do seven to us. Oh, God, do they have it? I don't block. I don't think you block. Nah, it seems fine without blocks. Skullcrack deals five, so we'd go to three. No, we do gain one. And then, actually, next turn, you can... <coughs> okay, well. Yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. Three, four, five damage. You go to five. Next turn, if they have Skullcrack, you can push the Swiss Spear in response to the Skullcrack. You can block it to bait it out. I was tempted to just play Gideon and plus. That's relevant, too. It's, no, you don't want to do that because it says damage can't be prevented, doesn't it? Yes. The fact that you're right, the fact that it doesn't have lifelink is super interesting. I mean, it's doing a lot of work as it is, but... Mm -hmm. And next turn we attack with vents. So well, the mouse has definitely been working a lot better than it was. I don't know what to attribute that to, to be honest with you. Oh, crap. We can't attack with vents. Well, I know. That's fine. God, they still have four cards in hand. I know. That's why you were like, it's only got three cards. I was like, yeah, but that's a lot when we're at ten. That's nine damage usually. <clears throat> so what are we taking two here? Yeah. That's really bad. It's fine. All their things deal two now anyway, okay. so. If we hit a black land, isolated chapel off we the have, top. Yeah, we have to hit a land here, color land. That's, nope. that's not good. Um... Oh, get, get in, make an emblem. That's actually very good. And then you can play the vents. Get venge. Should we get rid of this? Yeah. Can we do that? One, two, activate. One, two. Yeah, we'll get. Yeah. You that's have to get a white, though. Yeah, but we have vents still. That's okay. Yeah, that's still good. And then you could still play the shambling vent, can't you? We haven't played the land, right? No, we have not played the okay, land. Okay, so yeah, that works out perfect. <clears throat> oh, crap. Unless they have. It doesn't work out perfect at all. Yeah, you have. Yeah, exactly. You have to get the white. No, it doesn't. We don't have a mana. How did we miscount that? I don't know. That was pretty bad, though. Yeah. How did we? Hold on. How did we miscount that? I'll just get this guy. That makes no sense to me. How did we do that? We both miscounted that. Whatever. We got shambling vent. We just got to survive the turn. They're off Boros charms. Don't attack. No. <laughs> what are you crazy? Well, well, you you're you moved your mouse over top of it, so I was. That's why I was like. Oh, I moved my mouse over top of it. <clears throat> I mean, two, two burn spells kills us here, so... I'm sure Topher John never misplays. <laughs> uh, this is... What are you doing? You're so dumb at this game. I am really dumb at this game. Hey, actually, that was very helpful that they cast that. Oh, we're full? Oh, this is actually fine. We're going We're going deep. I'm sorry? We're going deep. All right. With your boy. So Riftbolt can't even kill the Gideon. Because it goes to four, right? 
If we prevent, not if oh. we make an emblem. You don't know what any of these cards do, do you? What's happening? Do we just go to six? And then we take two, so we go back down to four? What if we have Nixless and Minus on the Swisper? It doesn't do anything, because Core Firewalk is already holding on the fort from them. Mm, let's see, draw. Is it, is it relevant if they draw? What, oh, I see what you're wanting no, to do. I want to go to six, so that we because we're already going to two. Or f we gain one, we go to seven, and we take three. We're going to two next turn. I kind of want to gain life here. No, I like it. They can't prevent it. God, if we drew a fatal push, that would have been amazing. If we had a Sylvan... Uh, Carry added? Nope. <laughs> Library? Nope. What's the one that makes the plus two, plus two with the lands? I don't know. I hate you. Sylvan Safekeeper? Is that what you think that card does? No, I know what Sylvan Safekeeper does. It's a legacy card. Or maybe it's not Sylvan. I don't know. The Sylvan Advocate. It's Sylvan Advocate. It is Sylvan. Oh, it is stupid. Sylvan Advocate, yeah. You, you dumb you turtle. You idiot. You dummy. Make emblem. I called you a dumb turtle. I'm sorry. It was mean. I've heard that before. That you're a dumb turtle? Jesus. I guess that's okay. This is totally fine. Who, gives, who cares about a we goblin guide? We can trade guide? with the goblin guide. They so can't skull crack us. They have to have a burn spell in hand. If they have burn spell, they kill us, right? No, because we go to two. We take two damage. Or plus, we take... plus the burn spell. Plus two. So we go to one. Yes, the burn spell deals two damage. It's not lethal. They didn't attack oh, anywhere. Oh, boy. Oh, oh! Burn! <laughs> oh, but we can't cast We can't the do both. To the knights with now. What if we make a two-two? Gideon, uh, a Gideon make a chop blocker. Is Why would I ever do that over Core Firewalker number two? Well, because you... skull. Does skull crack change anything here? If they have a skull crack, probably. I'm actually tempted to the knights whisper here. Go to three, and then try to hit something like an Inquisition. But... They have two cards in hand. You nuts. You have suicidal tendencies. That's what someone said to me. I, they did. I know. I felt bad. Wish, wish, I wish we got a planes with this now. Because <laughs> then we could play Gideon. So this is interesting to know. You always want more planes than... Yeah, it's definitely seemed that way. Yeah. But maybe it's just because we're drawing more black? Maybe. Maybe are not. We, are we sacking the Mind Stone? We could have casted Fulminator Mage. Could have casted? Uh, that's true. You're right. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. We're so bad. This is a, it's not bad. It's just a lot going on. I'm, yeah. I'm reading chat. I'm paying attention to you. I'm trying to play this deck. Like I'm it's, annoying as hell. It's it's not that it's bad. It's not. It's 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 a lot harder than you think. I like how we misplayed, so we decided to sack the thing. Anyways. Well, none of these like having a fifth land in play right now doesn't really do. It lets us cast one extra card. I'd much rather have access to our, to our cheaper cheaper spells. Um, I think it's Gideon Emblem now. Gideon now. Do it. Make an emblem now. Do we Night's Whisper? No. <laughs> Relax, Frank. You're doing the best, my guy. This is also my second match with the deck, so I'm not super familiar with the ins and outs of the, the mana base. Also, Field of Ruin is just confusing. I'm, I was not... I always thought it was three mana to activate, but being two mana to activate is... Oh, God. They're going to they're gonna Searing Blaze one of our guys. Just kidding. They can't even do that. They can't do that, They Frank. can get a white and, and kill with a Swords to like, Path deck. Uh, okay. They really brought that in just for our souls? That's so bad. Mm, okay. That's super bad. And, <laughs> and we can Fulminator Mage the boop out of that? The boop out of it. We're going to boop it. Attack us, please. I dare you. That's not happening. I dare you to attack us. They don't have the cojones. You're co <laughs> 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 uh, oh, boy. I'm going to attack with Shambling Vent to gain the life. I do not want to die. Oh no, they're going to Lightning Bolt it. That's fine. I think that's actually totally fine if they want to do that. Yeah. Gains us two life anyways. It does yes. the same thing. We go to seven. And then it, you can actually use the mana and push their god. This isn't even big gids. This is medium gids. Yeah, that's like that's like a number one Big Mac medium with a Coke. A number one Big Mac medium... With a Coke. If you say number one, do you really also have to say Big Mac? I just wanted to make sure everyone knew what I was referencing. I didn't know if they have um, McDonald's where they live. Then they're not going to know what a Big Mac is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We have a good time. <coughs> do we? 
Why are they not scooping? Well, because they think they because they have they have misplaced faith. Show them the fatal push. I can't. For the record, I don't know the McDonald's was one. Yeah, but right. So you either say one or the other, right? I appreciate the Big Mac clarification. All right. Always yes and always yield. Whatever, man. Boris Charming. I said always yes. Why are you asking me again? Because it's a different one? It's the same one. All right. Prowess. Did you feel that? Was it your soul? Throat. Throat. It was my... Also, this game would be totally different if we actually played Full Mage that one turn and killed their white source. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and, and Fatal Push? I'm going gonna, gonna to take one. I, I would honestly Fatal Push just to maximize your mana next turn. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, it doesn't maximize your mana because we're only going to play a 4-drop next turn. That's true, I guess. But also, I'd rather, you, you could ob minus and clear the board to have one card in hand. Yeah, I'd rather save it for like an, an idol on. I don't think we're super uh, pressured here. Core oh. Firework Order was uh, pretty good. Which one? Both. Boat. That's Bo what, both of them? That's how my wife says it. It's... She says boat. Boat. Is she... Is she... Accent. Oh, that reminds me. Oh. So, um, your little travel bag that, that you have, the, the red one? Yeah. The very nice looking travel bag? I have one too. It's it's like a dark gray. Right. She has the cricket machine, which uh, is for like like the iron-ons. It, it's the cutter for vinyls and stuff like that. Sure. Do you want... If you want me to take it, she can... I'll send you like different... Um, fonts and you can tell me which one you like and if you want I could, she can initial it in the bottom corner like she did mine that's pretty cute yeah yeah it, it just makes it really nice <clears throat> let me see how yours looks not right now but I mean like before we before we move forward oh I was gonna you pull gonna it out pull what out the bag you have it under your shirt a lot of meat down there <laughs> under your shirt <laughs> what's happening right now oh look at this look at this look at these gids that they're killing I really, I'm really getting annoyed with why this is. Yeah, imagine how different this game would have been if we had literally, if we destroyed that white source. It would be a different game. They would be like, "I have all these Boros charms stuck in my look. I cannot carry all these Boros charms. <laughs> I only have two more. Stop, stop." I, I think we destroyed the land now. But he had other ideas. Oh, if you gain the life, are you gonna Godless Shrine shock? Oh no. Savage. Oh no. Shard volley. Maybe they sacked the white Bloody. land. They did. No, they didn't. <laughs> what is happening? <clears throat> uh, let's say yes. This game's over. You are dead now. I will be seeing you later. I would shock and destroy the other land too. Oh, we're definitely destroying the other land. We're going to leave them with one mana. And one life. I'll go to ten. I'll risk it. I must break you. Oh, we also gained two from the Fulminator Mage. I forgot oh, that's about gas. that. Oh, that's hilarious. That is really good. No, Mr. Burn. I expect you to die. There you go. You got no cards in hand, one mana. Did you need that Sacred Foundry? First? There's literally nothing you can do here. We had the good game. Murder, murder, please. Murdercles. Good game, Murdercles. You should have asked him how he pronounces his name. Murder, oh, er, Murder, it's Murdercles. <laughs> Murdercles. <laughs> it's good times. I want to put a Bane Slayer in the deck. I think it's very, very good. I think it's pretty good too. It's probably better than one of the OBS. Oh, uh, yeah, Bane Slayer. <clears throat> All right, so I like Bane Slayer. I like the deck as more of a toolbox deck than and then overloading on a bunch of stupid Gideons. Um, I think one Liliana is probably good. Hmm. What? I don't actually love the Mind Stones. I don't either. But I want 25 lands. Yeah, I don't think I even care about 25 lands. Especially with Liliana the Veil. 25 lands. Don't tell me what to do. Steven, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are the hero we need, not the one we deserve. What's that from? It's from Batman, you... Oh. oh I'm going to take one of these Gidgens out. What other 4-drop can we put in that's real good? Give me a cool four drop, a cool black white four drop. Inverter of truth. I, I, you know what? <laughs> Hold on, let me look it up. I'm gonna let you look it up. Doesn't this deck have you small? No, that's a completely different archetype. Completely different deck. And also not a huge fan of smallpox. I don't. Yeah, I don't like that either. I think they're hot trash. Hot garbage. All right. Black. I always call Bob Nicholas Bob Nicholas from accounting. What? 
All right, let me look at black and white only. And a Johnny? Which a Johnny? I can't imagine a single Johnny that'd be good here. Oh, I like a Kalitas. Alms Beast. Four mana, six, six. Creatures blocking or blocked by Alms Beast have lifelink. That's freaking terrible. All right, hold on. I'm looking. Oh, is four mana Soren good? I like Planeswalkers because of they can't just die to like fatal pushes. Do we want a one of Banishing Light in the main? No. We have... Hey, look what I was on. That's the good one. Yeah. No, I love this one. I kind of like it better than a third Gideon. Like, I'd rather just have a bunch of different Planeswalkers. Ooh, it has lifelink. Those creatures have lifelink. Oh, yeah, creatures. it's definitely relevant. All right, there's definitely nothing that's black and white. All right, let's see black, white that are mythics or rares. Well, let's start with mythic. Wow. Okay, so we took a Gideon out, replaced with Liliana. Took another Gideon out, replaced with a Soren. Took an Ob, replaced with a Bane Slayer, and then we still have two slots because of the Mind Stones, which is really nice, actually. I love having free slots on Tony, our Tony, you want 25 lands, man. No, you suck. <laughs> we can put one six-mana Elspeth in. What about two drops? Actually... I don't like six-mana Elspeth. Okay. We, we have a lot of stuff that, that Elspeth's already going. I don't hate Vault of the Archangel, but my problem is we already have four Field of Ruin... I think it's reasonable. What about two drops? We only have four two drops. Right, but there's not that many good ones unless you're playing creatures. I'm going to look that up. Okay. Zealous Persecution. It's not a token deck. No, I know. What about like one... Um, you play an ultimate price or go for the or something. Bump of the Night? Bump in the Night? Do you mean Victim of Night? Uh, victim of Night, yeah. No, I don't want a double black spell. That seems really I don't want to go for the throat. You don't, oh, why not Hero's Downfall? You don't want to go for the throat? I don't mind it, I said. Oh, okay. What about Hero's Downfall? It's three mana. <laughs> I mean, it's a big deal because you'd rather be playing any of these spells on three. I do like Lily of the Last Hope a lot. I don't want to play Argyle's Bloodfast in Modern. Lily of the Last it's, Hope seems terrible. I think the card's great. It, the card is great, but it, it, that's just it. By I don't that, know if it's great in here because the negative two is literally blank. It's, yeah, by that by that judgment, you're basically saying if you have a black deck, you should be playing Liliana Veil or Last Hope. Sure, I agree with that. Okay, well then. Right. Uh, I also think we want two Wrath of Gods over two Damnations in the main deck because Damnation is the oh, lesser represented card. Why don't we cut a Swamp and add one Planes? We have four and three. Uh, you want to go five, two? Well, I mean, obviously we have more. We're just not drawing them. Now. Why don't we just cut one Swamp for an Urborg? That seems relevant. I mean, it makes all your Field of Ruins tap for black. That seems relevant. I don't know why that's not even a thing. Herborg. <coughs> Yargle. I mean, the only downside is that, like, your opponents can Fulminator Mage it, but, like, you just don't get it in those matchups or, you know, like... They have other targets to Fulminator Mage anyways. I think Collector Brutality is fine. I just don't love it. Ooh, actually, one of Brutality seems pretty good. Why? Well, I mean, it synergizes with Lingering Souls. It's super flexible. I don't, I don't actually think that's bad at all. I like one. Try one, one brutality, one land. <clears throat> twenty-three lands. We're at twenty-four lands. We've been at twenty-four lands the whole time. Do you want to cut one field of ruin for one vault of the archangel? No. Like, if you were able to like activate one of the Gideons as like a four-four or five-five, and then attack for four, and then give it life link and death touch, like it's pretty good. Huh. Or like if you if you have like four souls out, like giving them all life link and death touch is insane. We're running isolated chapels still too. We have four field of ruins. Have, oh, you want to cut one? We have three. Ice, yeah, right. Because you're cutting one colorless yeah. land for another colorless land. I mean, you could try. It's not worth. It's worth. It's worth trying. I don't think it's irrelevant. I guess. Like I just don't think we're ever going to want four field of ruin. Like it's just it's a great card, but like, like in no for like no situations where you ever like man, I really wish I had four ghost quarters in my main deck. It's just not super frequent. But the, the times where Vault is good, it's usually very, very good. That's interesting. Do we like Obzedad over I was Baneslayer? Think, no, not over Baneslayer, for sure. But I might want it over like the, one of the Gideons. And we just have, like, I don't cool like the big Gideon, personally. I don't like the five-mana Gideon. I think he's good as a one-of. Here we are, though. We're getting away from the whole Gideon plan. I don't care point. about the Gideon plan. I think these are fine on their own as just three drops. Do you, though? I, I, no. No. I, I actually either. don't think they're I great. don't either. Things are happening. Should we be brewing over Boston Market and then coming back with something completely no, new? No, because that's going to be way too... So here's one I did in October. That's a standard. That's standard. All right, here's Black White Mardu, Black White Fawns. Black, Black White Mardu. 
<laughs> oh, it, it, it was Black White that turned into Mardu. That's how that worked. Hmm. Honestly, Black White Smallpox, I know we're not running Pox, but it may give us ideas. My dad, your dad's a Pox. Okay, well. Let's try it. Oh, standard. standard again. Dang, I keep coming out with standard links. Yeah, but it's worth it to see. Oh, let me actually write modern. There we go. That'll make things easier. Uh, here's some here's some CFB. This is from September of 2017. Uh, Wall of Omens and Baneslayer are the only creatures. I kind of like Wall of Omens. If you're running 24 lands, I think Wall of Omens is pretty perfect, actually. Wall of Omens is, seems insane. You also have one Brutality. You have six discard spells like we have. You had three relics in this deck. Holy cow. I can see that. Go three or go go home. One Elspeth Sun's Champion, one Gideon, two Gideon of the Trials, three Liliana of the Veil, one Obnixilis, one Collective Brutality, three Inquisition, three Lingering Souls, four Knight's Whisper, three Thoughtseize, four Fatal Push, three Relic, three Damnation. Yeah, it's very similar. Question. What if we mirror this Question. deck? Question. We mirror this deck list, remove the six mana Elspeth, Remove the three Lily of the Veils, or at least two of them, and add more Gideons and try running it with the two. Like, it has five three in a Planeswalkers. Two Gideon of the Trials and three Liliana of the Veil. Run a 3-1 split, I'm saying. Why don't we try and stick with the, 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 the Gideon plan? This also has no paths, which I actually don't... I mean, I don't think it's terrible to cut one more path for something else. Five one-mana removal spells is more than you need. Plus, especially if you have three Wrath effects. I might like Elspeth. More. I like I like Soren more than Elspeth, but Elspeth might be better than Soren. I don't. I don't, I don't like either of them. That's just such a large you, topic. You yes, but you want to pay off in a deck like this. But I feel like like Obnixilis on five drawing you oh, cards. Oh, are... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> God. Oh, we have a good time. Oh, again, we have the two core Firewalker and sideboard, which are very very good. I think one Lily's fine, because against the decks that it's good against, you're like, eh, it's whatever. Also, sometimes she just comes down and, and nugs one of their things. Four Concealed Courtyard in this deck, too, which is kind of funny. Four Tech Edge. That's That would just be Field Ruin at this point. Field's just better. All right, so hold on. I think there's actually more than this. Oh, here's another one. Yep, here's another version we played with three Crypt Breaker and one Kalidus. Oh, I remember this. This is a good one, too. I remember this video. This is November. Because I remember the Crypt Breakers. The Crypt Breakers are interesting because they actually didn't have any... Three Leyline and three... Six Leyline in the main deck. That was interesting. I don't remember this. Okay, you lied then. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Upon further review. Wow, that's super interesting. Oh, what about Leyline on the sideboard? Do we like Leyline of Anticipation? Of, uh... Mm -mm. Sanct okay, well... No. Rob gonna punch Frank in the future. What does that even mean? Technically, when I punch him, wouldn't it be the present? I don't know. This is from Gabe Nassif. This is was this this is this was in October that he seemed like he did well with. He went three two. Oh well, I don't know if this is the three two. He Tide Hollow Scholar. I don't like the. This has a lot of creatures though. Four eight. This also has Dark Confidant, which is, is completely, completely contrary. Yeah, this is very them. contrary to our deck. Man, four <clears throat> bobs. Oh, they also have Death Cloud. Dude, no, four, I'm, I'm four bobs with four mana Planeswalkers seems pretty rough. It's greedy. It's greedy. You're greedy. Oh, here's another one. This is are these all different ones? These are probably the same, right? Yeah, September. Yeah. Why do they have? Why does it say ing? What is that? <clears throat> English. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> Look at your hair back then. <clears throat> but it's just longer. I know. It's just literally the same style. It's just a longer haircut. I know. That. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, hopefully you're okay with this. And uh... we're brewing. We're we're the, the the wheels are turning. Yeah, like we don't have enough removal to justify Cletus. And also, like no, Cletus, I don't like. I don't like having these one of creatures because it just turns on their it removal. Just dies. Bane Slayer is the exception because you can usually thought seize or Inquisition away their stuff. Out, yeah. Plus, it doesn't get hit by a lot of the common removal like Fatal Push mm -hmm. or Abrupt Decay. So you're literally like, if they have Path or member you know yeah like lightning bolt also doesn't hit it so it's but it's but it's a it's a card that when it sticks you will just usually win the game i would run batter skull over ob no you're crazy obnix is one of the better one Hold of the on. better how, how can you even compare those two i don't know they don't really do the same thing Sammy. that that's so <laughs> literal opposite opposite that's that's the literal that's good opposite that's good thank you we all have... right cut the path the other path you don't want no path isn't that what you said you just wanted four push I thought you said five was too many. I'm actually fine with four push. Yeah, let's try it. What about one wall? 
What if we just go back to the OG and then we just like one wall? Wall of Omens is great because it buys you time and it forces your opponent to overcommit for your Wrath of God. Effects. Okay, but here's the other thing I was trying to say. I'm listening. Let's put a th another another Gideon in the three mana Gideon. G Gideon behind the wall three is good. Gideons? Yes, because Gideon behind the wall is good. Four Boros Reckoner bugs, Kerwin. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, buddy. Always appreciative. I would run Tybalt over Ob. <clears throat> well, that's just your opinion. <laughs> and I, I can keep appreciate going. it. <laughs> All right. So you want? I don't like three Gideon though. Uh oh. What? That's for them. Oh. They ordered their own food. They're eating their own food. Oh. Not everything's about you. Oh. Unless there's a knock at the door, it's gonna be super awkward. But that would be weird because they don't know our address or what we wanted. So I don't know. Would... You know some of these people. You know what, man? Just shut your mouth. All right, we need one more one more card. We have one empty slot. Third Gideon in the trials. What about Sun Titan? What about one Sun Titan? No, there's only... Eh. Gets back fetch lands. It does get back fetch but lands. But six mana. Gets back Field of Ruin. <laughs> Is it better than Elspeth or, Gide or Soren? No, if I had... I don't know. <laughs> no, if I had a, I don't know. <laughs> I almost like one. I almost like one Gideon and one Ob instead. Like I like two Ob's, one Gideon. Is that better? Because Ob just comes down, and kills a dude, even if it's untapped. I think we need to determine what we're doing here with our Gideons. Are we running? Are we? I don't care about uh, the emblem. I don't. If it's if we have it, it's cool. But I still think it's a fine. Okay. Just make the dude. So so let's do this damage. then. So let's cut four mana Gideon and put a third three mana Gideon. But then we have no real action at four. Is my problem. I think these guys can do a good do a good job. All right, we need one card, one collector brutality. I'd rather have planeswalker. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. You're like, I mean, if we're gonna put a collector brutality or a third Gideon, I'll just go with third Gideon. If those are my options, because I'd rather have more permanent things that stick to the board. Okay. I support you. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. My God, your phone never stops going off. It's unbelievable. She wants to talk to me. Yeah, but like, Jesus. Yeah, hey, Liliana the Last Hope's not great. The 5-5 five, five Flyer with Delve? What, Tomb Stalker? <laughs> what are we dealt? We don't have that many things to... Is there, what, what gains life? What can we play and have that just gains us life? Core Firewalker. Okay, well... I'm just going to put in one more Gideon of the Trials, I guess. I don't want to draw three Gideons. How about a second Liliana? Just two and two. <clears throat> okay, good talk. Let me know when you're done messaging your wife who you've been talking to all day I'm talking to her for you what does that even mean look can you send me a picture oh my god why do you have to do that now though it's like you can just do that later yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this deck um one two three four five six seven eight you have eight planeswalkers there. how many do we have right now one two three four five six eight Seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten right now. Cut one, run a collector brutality. It's a super flexible card. And you don't even like Liliana of the Veil, anyways. I don't. Yeah, I don't either, actually. Alright, fine, I'll put one stupid collector brutality. I actually like the walls a lot. It's so funny. One collective brutality. Alright, let's do it. Let's run it up. Run it up the flagpole, ladies and gentlemen. What does that mean? I don't know. God. Blood Baron of Viscopa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that card. That card's so good. It's the five mana four four that becomes. Yeah, how do you actually kill that in modern? You can't path it. Can't. It's pro black, pro white. Right? Yes. <laughs> You're like. Oh. How do you kill that in modern? They can't dismember it. You can't path it. You can't fatal push it. You got a double lightning bolt it. All right, we just need four of those and some mind stones. I don't understand. <laughs> Hold on. And it's only white black, right? It doesn't yeah. cost like any extra crazy colors. It's five mana four. It's a four four. Where are you, you stupid you idiot? You just pass this down right there where your mouse, mouse is. Yep. All right, the second half is pretty irrelevant. Right, but it's still a four four for five that just doesn't die. How I mean, you... it trades. Who does it trade with? Goif. You kill the goif. You kill the goif. Well, then, uh, using your logic, you don't you don't trade it with anything. It's just better than Baneslayer, right? It actually seems pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Like, you can actually wipe out... Try it. It's a vampire. It is a vampire. <laughs> I did say vampire. Yeah, Why did you hear that? 
Hot damn. Are you talking about your food again? Oh, man. Dies the doubling charm. I don't know what that means. Yeah, dodges pulse. It dodges trophy. Okay, so... It dodges, like, everything, dude. So are we just playing Blood, Blood Baron Aggro? This is blowing my mind. Why don't we just try and put three of them in there? Just to try just it? Just to see how it goes? Just to see how it does two is good. Why don't we take one Soren out for two of these Take guys? out that big Soren. Ooh, I'm excited about that. <laughs> It'd be so funny if this works and we go to that tournament and you just crush with them. With, like, Blood Baron yeah, of the Scopus? Yeah, like, oh my I have God. to read this card. What, is, what does this card do? Wow. Let me look for things that have protection from black and Let white, Let me actually, actually update this name because I want to get it out of the... The Ixalan. Now we're in the GRN era. Oh, this. What if this deck gets like a lot better after uh, after next set because of oh, Orzov? It's very possible because it gets white black help. Hey, we won the last match, man. Good job. Wow, can't believe that. Blood Baron of Viscopa. Are we on the play or the draw? We are on the draw. I don't think you can keep this hand. We got Gideon. Gideon. Yeah, not on the draw. They get a chance to play two creatures before it comes down. No, they don't. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. God damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh come yeah. on. <laughs> oh, Mouse is acting up again. We're having a good time. Sweet. We're dead. Hopefully, I'm, I'm just praying it's Zoo. If it's Zoo, we'll be all right. <clears throat> it's not Zoo with a mountain. It could be, it could be green. green right also, green. Blood Baron. We can double Blood Baron. Like, that's actually just great in the main deck against this deck. Yeah, it is. They can't kill it. Elk Tears, thank you so much for the Blood Baron tech, buddy. Yeah, that was sick. Elk Tears provided the Blood Baron tech. That is gas. Franklin, who provided the tech? Uh, that would be Elk Tears. It's Zoo! This is interesting. Are we just not dead? <laughs> it's Zoo! Like, our curve is good, right? <laughs> Unless they have a Bushwhacker. Manamorphose Bushwhacker. That's not the politically correct term for, for them. Bush Hog? Hog? Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, look, they had a bushwhacker. I guess we're taking eight damage here on turn two. Oh, my gosh. They're so they're going so deep. Are you stuck on black white? Yeah, for, for this video and for this for this series, we are, yes. They're, they're, they exiled a simian spirit guide to cast it. That's aggressive. <laughs> I'm never going to make it. It's oh, my God. We haven't now. even played a second land yet? Yeah, we're, it's, we're dead. It's teasing us. <laughs> they have another bushwhacker in their hand. You don't know what they have. They probably do. I mean, I called Zoo. I called Bushwhacker. What else do you want from me? I think we actually have a good game against this deck. We just have to be with Firewalkers. We have a good game against this deck. Oh, look at that little shit burger. One, one two, hasty, three, four. One it's still six damage, and then burger. we take out four, so. Do we have anything on three? I don't think so. Nothing that's really going to save us. Oh, on the turning? No, not sure. Not sure. I'm I'm leaning towards this because I'm a big fan of the archetype, and I think I'd have fun playing it. He likes to do the, the middling dirtles. I do like middle. Oh, they just had Goblin Grenade. But I'm glad we got to see that, though. That's nice. Wow. All right, so yeah, Mouse is actually acting up here. I'm not sure if it's actually a. Uh, it, it was probably when you kept slamming it on the table at me. I would never saying, do that. Make your pick. Okay, take it easy. Sorry. Protection from white. Saying, make your pick. How is it worded exactly? Protection was, from black and white. Protection from black and from, from white. White and from black. What are you looking up? Cards that say that. Oh, that's a good idea. Or you can just look up protection, white, black. That's probably all you have to look up. Taking out thought seizes, right? Maybe? Yes. Yeah, probably. Bring in Fire, Wa Fire McWalkersons. <clears throat> Fire, <laughs> Core Fire Walker Texas Rangers. Take out a Night's Whisper for a damnation. <clears throat> yeah, it seems Wall good. of Omen seems pretty good here. Agreed. Man, it's a good thing we kept that hand. What about Damping Sphere? Um, on the play? Yeah, you try it. I mean, it's better than... Night Whisper's boop. It's good against their... If they're trying to go, like, go, like blood... blood bra uh, burning tree, burning tree, wacky, then... I mean, it almost makes their... It almost negates their burning tree mana. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, I mean, it's got a vent. I think that's the only reason I would keep this, because it has a vent. And we got a wrath. Oh, Urborg unlocks all of our isolated chapels. Yes, that's why I kept it. That's gas. Otherwise, these would be absolutely miserable. <clears throat> that's gasoline. See, look, now they go one drop, and they actually can't do anything next turn except for play like a 2-2. Two -two. 
Don't be a land. Oh, that was a good one. There's nothing else that has pro white and pro black. Uh, false. Progenitus has it. Well, no, in black and white colors. I'm saying. Progenitus is a black and white card. He's also other colors. Well, you didn't say that. I'm just saying. Well, you didn't say that. Hey, Elk Tears, do you like Blood Baron by any chance? He might. He might. Look at these two little dirtles. Look how cute they are. Problem is we can't block them. These aren't. Oh, I thought they had first strike. No, not until they battalion. Mm. So if they have another haste creature, that we can't. Battalion. Well, we can just double block one, and they get to kill one guy. That's totally fine. Is this the no tokens? Can't be blocked by tokens? Yeah, so yep. if they have battalion, it's rough. It's actually not. We just Yeah, but if they're playing enough you're, guys yeah, to battalion, you're then we're to just... Play another dude. Sure. <clears throat> so they get to eat, like, half of our thing. I am okay with this. All right. So they go to three cards if they land Bushwhacker. Oh, and they gobble grenade. That's. I see. That's pretty good. Oh. Huh. So. I hope we draw a blood player. Why? Just to say we had it. Okay. But uh, what do you want to do after this? Hey, at least we won't play against this deck in the tournament. I guess there's that. Uh, why do they get First Strike and Trample and can't be blocked by tokens? I don't actually understand why this deck is the way it is. It's literally, what? Just get... Why are you not attacking with this? You're at 20. Because you don't want to put me in, in Goblin Guide, Goblin Grenade range? Why didn't you block with... Well, I don't understand what's happening right now. So... <clears throat> Legacy's great, man. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Shoot a mulligan. I hate you. <laughs> I'm just going to go right back into it and yeah. hope I don't play against that guy. No, I and... hope we do. Hope we give him the business. We know his plans <sighs> <God>. now. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said now we have bonus round mana. That was up to yours. That's, a, that's a good. I like <laughs> it. This hand seems great. Yes. It's a different person. It is not a different person. Nope, not a different person. Yeah, I'm so cringe right now. I guess we'll do this, actually. Yeah, I would have held it. They're higher impact spells. They're well, not casting until turn three. Yeah, but if they're going to go burning tree, burning tree guy, like... Oh, there you go. <clears throat> I think we can actually just take the lightning bolt. Bolt at least... Tri actually, that is good, because if they attack with loyalist um, three creatures... I just don't care. <laughs> so they're hitting us for five this turn. What? How are they hitting us? Oh, because like loyalist, loyalist. Yeah. One, two, three. Four. <clears throat> sure. But then they have like one card in hand. Yeah, and then we block everything and we can kill stuff. Well, they have two, but. But then like we like they just have three power on board, so it's not really super. My kid puked his whole bed. What did I miss? He puked up his uh, whole bed. <clears throat> Jesus. Why did you let him eat the whole bed first? Just feed him. Rob did the same. <laughs> oh, man. Mono red puking the whole bed. All right, so we know they have this guy in hand, and that's pretty much it. Look at my mana monkey. I got another goblin guide. Is that like a better three mana sweeper, like a golden demise or something we should be playing? I don't understand. Well, they made it. The, the, technically, the proper one to play would be the, the one that lets the, you scry for right. three. Yeah. Is it infest? Uh, no, Infest is normal. You're thinking of... Oh, what's it called? It's in chat somewhere. I read it earlier. Drown in Sorrow. Drown, that's it. I know. Happy New Year. It's your boy. <clears throat> I really just don't want to play... I want to play Godless Shrine, and then we'll just... Yeah, tap fatal and then push. Fatal push something. And then we'll just assume that we're probably going to die to a Goblin Grenade here. But we're literally one turn away from Blood Baron. How? Jesus Christ. How? So, again, they haven't drawn a single land all game. No, they probably play like 15, so. I doubt, I doubt that. Look at all these beautiful creatures. <clears throat> give me a land. Give me all the lands. You didn't give me a land. Oh, cool. Get in. 
God, that four mana Gideon just seems so bad. I think I feel like you're almost right. Like it just doesn't do very much. Yeah. <sighs> what do we take? One, two, three, four, which puts us to exactly five. So now they can Goblin Granatus. Yeah, but Blood Baron, we're gonna kill everything next turn. Uh, if we don't die right here to Goblin Grenade. Untap. Next game. Hey, they have uh, they have Magus of the Moon. Lucky, 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 lucky. Is it really lucky at this point? Every person we played has drawn so sick. Except for the one person we beat. We didn't even really draw sick those games. Maybe we did because we kept effing up. Lucky, 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 lucky. <clears throat> format is bad. Draft cube. I don't disagree with your decisions. I agree with the format is is definitely not. I used to like modern a lot more. I don't know what happened. Well, you because you can't play the style of decks that you like to play. Like if you like storm, you'd love modern. So basically, if you like formats where you don't have to interact with people. <clears throat> I disagree. I think you have to interact, but you don't have to do it over turns four, five, six, and seven. Or you don't have to interact in order to make it to turns four, five, six, and seven. They can't win this game, so it doesn't matter. If we fetch, do we have to fetch black or white? Uh, for what do you mean, basics? Oh, I, that's not even a fetch. I thought that was a marsh flat. She just played. I would I would fetch a planes one hundred percent because we have Urborg and because we Urborg have... does nothing. Against Magus and no, because it becomes a, yeah. sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa! No one drop. No, they're dead. I honestly don't get it. Why are you saying they're dead? Because we played a core firewalker. Oh, they can't tie through it. They can't win. The Goblin Gods now deal seven four four mana four damage. Seven four mana four damage is what I just said. Right. I hope we get a Blood Baron. I hope your face is made of Blood Barons. Cool, man. Why don't you cast two more red spells? Oh, no. No one cares. I gained more dam I gained more life than the damage you're going to deal here. <laughs> Wait, what? Does he not realize he can attack with those? You done messed up, <laughs> I don't think he messed up. I literally think he doesn't. He they don't know. Okay, well, shame scoop. Wait, what did you think they were doing? It was a. What, what, you don't think attacking with a three two into a pro red creature is a, a mess up? I wasn't even. I was. I wasn't even at that point yet. I was talking about the reckless bushwhacker. He probably didn't think this was a red creature. He thought this was a red creature, so he didn't attack into this. Right, but my point was that that's the second time they've casted a bushwhacker with haste when they could when. It's not like he didn't attack. Cast. What's Second that? time they cast a bushwhacker, not casted. Whatever, man. Okay. I'm not. A, I'm not a math major. I but I'm know. trying to. I'm trying to help you. Uh, you know that you can't. <laughs> I don't know what. What's you know going you on cannot here. help me. Uh, I love collective brutality. Me too. Do we pitch the sphere? Oh, we can pitch the souls. Yeah, you literally want to talk about the synergy with the lingering souls. Oh, I have three goblin guys. Oh, cool. Man, we those firewalkers are sticky. Firewalkers a card that I. I would be. I would definitely consider putting four in the sideboard just because the, the matches they're good just against wins it. You just, multiples. It puts you so far ahead. Yeah. I like Oriok Champion as well, but Oriok Champion I don't think does as much because this is any red spell, whereas Champion is just creatures. Mm. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Was that lucky? That no, had... I was just saying because it's stuck in my head. Oh, alrighty. Oh, we drew a fatal push. That's pretty good. Fighter push. Or do we want to use this? I don't know. Either way, this is coming down. Nah, I think you push. It's two power. Right, but the thing is, uh, if they yeah. have like one bushwhacker in so, hand, so here's my problem with that. Before you do it, is they have eight in their deck. Sure. So there's probably I'd rather them have a chance. Yes, but I'd two. rather get rid of one from their hand than have because next turn we're not going to do it either. We're going to play core firewalker. So if they have two, I'd much rather deal okay. with one than both. All right. And they have one, Skull not crack. two. Interesting. I still I take the bush still take the bushwhacker. Yeah, because we can play around Skullcrack. Yeah. You can fatal, do the same thing. You can Fatal Push in response if we draw an untap land. Even if we don't, we can just wait a turn. I can't wait. Well, honestly, Skullcrack... Them having two lands their one one's. Is pretty much a death sentence. 
oh wow you're just gonna let that die but you have nothing to play here that's weird yeah that's true they didn't draw their card first yeah i would have just well you don't get to you only get to no that's what i'm saying oh we got a vault yeah, that doesn't do anything look at my vault no it really doesn't actually that does though do we take two they have one ones you can block. I don't see why. And you gain the life, so you take two, four, five next turn. Nah, we can just play uh, Godless Shrine tapped. Yeah, take two, four, five. Two, four, five. We can also just collect a brutality. Yeah, they would just play in response. Yep. It's still two life in the future, though, which is really nice. It is really nice, man. I think we're actually in great shape here, so. We're beginning him until he casts. Uh, well, I mean, technically speaking, once he casts, uh, whatchamacallit, we just lose this game. God, I really dislike Gideon. I really think he's a piece of, piece of garbage. He is a piece of garbage. The three mana, the four mana one. Yeah, no, I agree. I with just that. don't think he, he does, does anything. Nothing. No, it doesn't. You know what we need? More blood barons. The guys from Viscopa. I'm gonna look up four mana mythics. I already did that. Mythics? Yeah. I can, st I can still look. You know, my dad. I'm not telling you what you can or can't do. Yeah, seriously, we're. Uh, oh, we, they didn't do anything. We wow. need. We need a black. Mm, that sucks. Why? Because if we have black, we can kill the magus with the collective brutality. We can just respond and fatal push it. We could respond and fatal push it. We probably can't. No, we have to sack a perm. I mean, well, no, I wanted to search for mythics. <sighs> I said sack a perm. Cool start, bro. Perma sack. I'm sorry, what? I don't mind vault. Mm. I think we're just going to linger and <laughs> keep up fatal push here, and then we can just play vault next turn. And we can pinch. Yeah, at this point, sphere is useless. Oh, wow. That'll be good. Is, oh well, no, we won't get a bunch of life. Why not? Oh, cause skull crack. Mm -hmm. We just collect a brutality, then whatever. It's not brutality, my face. I'm not gonna brutality your face. Hey Frank, I was looking to listen to some magic content while doing a boring job at work today, and stumbled upon your and Ali's podcast. I was able to listen to all the GRN episodes today. Thought I'd stop in and say thanks for making non-video consumable <laughs> magic content. It's pretty rare. Twisted. Glad you could, glad you think so. Really appreciate it. Hold on, I get to gain a life. Always yes, always yield. Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. It means a lot. You have to kill it before attack phase if you're going to try and block with your spirits. I guess we'll find out if I'm going to do that. Though. Actually, you don't even have to do that. You can kill the goblin guide, and then he won't attack with the loyalist. I'd rather just get rid of this guy. It's a much bigger threat in the long term. True. Dead. Also, like, there's not many other specific creatures in their deck I want to hold a fatal push for. There's a hookah bar called Alush across the street from my... Oh, that's hilarious. We're not, well, we don't go to hookah bars, but there's a restaurant in Tampa called, um, oh God, it's a Greek restaurant. Acropolis. Cool. It's really nice. What if we put a couple Karns in the deck? How do you feel about that? We don't have artifact synergies, but I'm down to build a Karn deck. I meant the, I meant the seven mana Karn. It was a joke, but uh, it was not well received. It was not. It's unfortunate. It was not. It was not. I can't believe you haven't seen the room. It's weird to me. It's weird to me. What, <clears throat> isn't Elspeth Nidorant just better than Gideon? No. You don't think so? Because the, the second plus ability is useless. Unless the first one resolves. Wouldn't we want a second body at that point? Would we want a second body at that point? Oh, this is good for us. Yes, because we can do this. And then we can Lingering Souls and Collective Brutality. Oh my god. And they're basically just dead to that. Did we win game one? We won game two. Oh, this is game three? Yes. <clears throat> you should go next level and produce silent black and white MTG content. Yeah, I'll cover all the bases. All right, I'm going to dismiss both of these and get rid of this thing. And you have no cards in hand. So we'll play this. I still think you hold the sphere. Hold it? Why? Because you can use two modes. Can't I just do that anyway? Can I kill this and gain two life? You can do that if you want. Yeah, I don't see why not. You can do it if you want to. Oh, uh, you're gonna leave y'all kill the thing. Unzip do 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 kill this guy. Target opponent loses two life and y'all choose <clears> this one. <throat> and then we're definitely lingering soulsing here. <clears throat> My souls is lingering. God, he's so melodic, it's amazing. Can you feel it? And the next turn we're gonna attack for one, two, three, four, five, six, gain six life, and uh call it a day. What's not legal? You can't gain life this turn. This turn, whatever. 
I can gain life whenever I want to. I would minus on a token. Minus? Wow, just 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 because we had it? Yes. Look at this. Look at this card going to win us the game. I feel like the game's already over. Because I, I, because of vault. No, don't even use the vault. The game's already over. No, I want I want to use it. I know, but don't use that as the crutch for your argument. It's You should tap a black mana. I will. Okay. I wasn't done yet. Mm -hmm. Dude, we're going up to like 18 life. Oh my god. How do they even survive this? We didn't even get to blood. But what about hero? No. Ah. It's no. Nah. That's eh, pretty good. You ever played in a cube, man? It just crushes. The game is over. Oh, the Aramia ruins us. Shit. We're probably dead here. I mean, theoretically, if they go whacker whacker, we're not in great shape, right? Tell, tell them good game. Say, hey man. No. Good game. No. Look. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I like that. Oh, look, they they got one whacker. Oh, that's all they got. <laughs> one whacker. I'll take two. Are they really? <laughs> oh, they can Wait, two. they do know that it can attack. Yeah, so it's not a mystery. All right, so what is we like 2-2 two -two with this deck? We are 2-2. Two -two. I like the way it looks so far. I think I'm still going to play a little bit more of it. Not right now. But, and I feel so. like it's not even a deck that's built to beat the decks we've been that we've been playing against. Right. We haven't actually played against any of those. Nothing grindy. Any like, nothing else right. mid-rangey. Nothing else, like... How many Planeswalkers do we have? One, we have two, ten. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine. Nine. Yeah, let's cut the Gideons. Three of these, two, three of these, and three of these. I almost, I like, I like Sworn better. I like Sworn. Because the negative two is great with your Lingering Souls, but the plus one is also just better than Gideon because, like, you're automatically going, you're going up, and the lifelink is extremely relevant as well. What if we were to cut all the Gideons, literally all the Gideons for the deck? Yikes. Why don't we run triple Liliana the Veil? See how Liliana is behind four Wall of Omens. How Liliana is behind four Wall of Omens? Mm -hmm. I just don't want to be discarding. Like, we don't have that many cards to discard. Like, yeah. if we're drawing two cards a turn every turn, I'd be on board. But, like, eventually we're just going to discard our hand. And I think one of the things the deck has going for it is all your cards are strong, so... There's a lot of card advantage built into the deck, too. Well, not actually. like not like card advantage, though. Only It's like only Wall of Omens and Night's no. Whisper, really. No, like Obnixilus draws cards. Well, I guess we had Sworn before. Sure, but, but like, that's it. Like, these yeah. guys don't draw cards, per se. I mm -hmm. wish. I do like four. I, I, got, I, I like a fourth Wall of Omens. Might be out in the Collector Brutality. I don't feel like I'm ever in a position where I'm like, man, I wish I didn't draw that Wall of Omens. No, I agree with that, yeah. Yeah, we don't really have a reason to cut Lily completely. I don't think she's that bad as a one of. I don't think we want Drown and Sara, really. No, I think I was just, I I was just saying it. Those are just matchups that we probably won't see. Yeah, I'm not really going to... even if Burn wasn't trying a good to, matchup to bring in Drown and Sara. Yeah, I'm not trying to customize it against the Burn, like the aggro decks. Yeah, Drown and is not even great against the Burn deck. I would, I would sooner put in a fourth... Core Firewalker, which I'm very, very close to leaning towards. All right, so we're in this for another hour and a half, and then or, and then we go eat. Right. I want to end this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out on Twitch and Patreon, and you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Also, check out Aaron King Custom Deck Boxes. Link is in the description below. With promo code Frank, you will get 10% off, which is a pretty sweet deal. So be sure to check that out. Uh, if you're looking for the deck list, it will also be in the description. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. See you later.